yeah, you know, I kind of feel like Pokemon Infinity, actually. You know what? Let's do that. Let's start it up again. Pokemon Infinity. Um, I will tell you guys um, uh, the story so far and all that. It is a Pokemon fan game, uh, and it's really cool. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty neat. Um, is it muted? Yeah! Pokemon Infinity! All right, Pokemon. Let me change my um, category to Pokemon Infinity. All right, it's really loud initially. There it is. Okay, cool. That's my Breath of the Wild mods. Infinity. For some reason, sometimes it hooks live split instead. But I don't know why. All right. Um, and then mods. Do you have the uh, timer for infinity that I could add real quick? Uh, fifteen forty. Thank you. All right. Fifteen forty. All right. So this is Pokemon Infinity. In case you don't know what it is, Pokemon Infinity is a fan game of Pokemon. However, <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm saying however there. Uh, it's a Pokemon. Uh, it's a fan fan. F why the fuck? Why isn't Live Split hooking Live Split? What the hell? Sorry. It's it's a. Fan game of Pokemon. There's live split. I don't know why I didn't hook. I'm so confused. Anyways, it's a Pokemon fan game where we wake up on a deserted island. Uh, and, uh, yeah. There's a lot in this. <laughs> but it's goddamn really cool. Uh, so... Pokemon Infinity, the story so far. We wake up uh, on a deserted island uh, with no memory of how we got there or uh, why we got there. Um, anything like that, it's just we have no memory of anything at all. We are found by a professor who says, Hey, uh, let me try to help you get your memory back. Um, here's a starter Pokemon. Go out, meet, our prof uh, meet um, Professor Thorn, uh, who probably could help you. So Professor Thorn... Um, comes along uh we help her build a machine uh that uh goes into our brain and extracts our memories and in doing so we uh fall asleep uh into a nightmare um and our nightmare uh includes us uh in a hospital bed uh with a ghost haunting us uh and it's crazy dude actually crazy so we discover that we are not only not from this time, we've time traveled somehow, but we're from a different dimension entirely. So in order for us to try to get back to our dimension, uh, we need to go across the region and um, summon Palkia, Dialga, and Giratina uh, and receive the power from them. So far we've done Palkia and now we are going to Dialga uh, currently. So far, pretty amazing. If you want to take a look at our team, our team is also pretty sick. Um, because we're from a different time period, you might see that Blastoise looks a little different. 
Blastoise is uh, is a tad weirder uh, than before, um, as well as some other Pokemon. Kaizel, thanks for the five good subs. Thank you. Um, we also have our Magneton, who is a Grass Steel type. Um, we have a Psy Steed, a totally new Pokemon. We have Altaria, who is the cutest little thing ever. Um, literally Picro Bounce Altaria, you know? Um, uh, there's Wardern, uh, and a Mysterious Egg that, uh, we still haven't been able to hatch. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what we're currently doing. We're, uh, oh, let me show you the, sorry, let me show you the map here. Um, this is where we're going. So we are trying to, uh, go to Diamond Peak Town. Uh, this is the entire map. It doesn't look too big. However, the game is in incredibly dense. Uh, there's a lot to the game. It's really just like you, you sink your teeth in. You're like, <laughs> and there's, uh, and it's a lot of fun. This is Hayesport City. It's goddamn huge. Um, and, uh, yeah. So we're currently headed up to, uh, try to go to Diamond Peak Town. Kind of cool. Uh, so let's actually fly over, I think, here first. I love made fan. I love fan made stuff. What's really cool is that this is a very well done fan made game. I mean, you can see by the sprites itself that it's very you know loved. Um, and not only that, but uh, the story is pretty good so far. Uh, if you guys liked the Pokemon Uranium or the Pokemon Insurgents or any of the um, Pokemon fan game uh, videos that we've made, this is. Uh, up there with them. It's really cool, and I, I personally like it a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're playing Pokemon Infinity. All right, so we got to go to Haytai Cape, and we need to travel to the Diamond Peak uh, spots. I don't know exactly how we're going to get there. I think we have to uh, charter a uh, ship. Right? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, my name's Randall on this boathouse. I so sold it when I had the chance. The rock shores around here are no place for boats. Um, and we have the title badge. Cool. Uh, areas for employees only. Oh, my bad. Sorry. My bad. Everything is a bit too small for the layout. I don't know what you're talking about. Every everything's fine. Right? Unless I'm wrong. I think we're probably fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right. And this is how it's been forever. Regardless, I, I hope you guys enjoy um, uh, uh, this because it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's talk to Professor Thorne and because uh, she tells us where we need to go. Yo, you'll probably run into another Ego Council member, Chad. If anyone can help you figure out how to cross the ocean, it'll be him. You'll have to head to the boathouse south of Hades Town to help with that. Okay, well, we already met Chad. Uh, and that's where we got our uh, Pokemon stuff from. Let's go back here. All right, so let's go back down this way. I wasn't expecting her to be old. I mean, all of the Pokemon professors are old, right? I could be wrong with that. How much of a Chad was Chad? Very Chad-like, very Chad-like. Okay, um, we went to the boathouse. I think we just... Oh, let's talk to Chad. I'm mean, about battling. I'm observing the beach to make sure no one's drowning or being buried alive. Uh, unfortunately, the beach doesn't get a lot of action, so I'm pretty bored most of the time. Okay. I guess Sonya wasn't... Yeah, I guess so. 
Um, I guess we could go down. But I want to go to the right, you know? Yeah. I want to go to the right so I can go to Diamond Peak, but, uh, you know, I'm not too sure. Uh, let me go... Let's try this again. Where we're going to use a bunch of repels and travel and see uh, where we go with this. This is a new, uh, uh, new area. Oh, can I not surf here? I thought... It... Wait, I thought I just... Oh, I got you. Yeah, guess... To the left? I think, yeah. We, But we can't go to the left, which is the problem. So I guess we go down. We, there's probably something we got to discover here, is what I'm getting at. That, like, we haven't discovered yet. And I've already done that, too. Yeah, like, I don't think I've gone over this way. Yeah, this is probably it. This is probably it. Uh, Dune Drift Bay, which we went, but we didn't go up here. Whoa, that guy's swimming. Jesus. Oh, those are probably Pokemon. A water stone. Cool. Yeah, what's over here? This is new. Okay, this is new. Oh. Uh, Tidal Cliff Cave. Well, check it out. Oh, this is this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music. Oh, I love it. Tidal Cliff Cave. Beautiful so far. Pretty dark in here, too. Uh, I will continue to use repels, though. <laughs> uh, just for my own sake, at least. Okay, so I can't swim in here. Hey, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, phenomenal games. Seriously. Like, top top tier games. If you haven't played them yet, you definitely should. Yo! Ignator, thanks for the Ilginator. Thanks for the tier 3 subscription. Thank you. Crazy. Alright, cool trainer Mandy. Uh, sitting out an Absol, that's fine. Uh, because we have Drizzle, uh, Stab, and Aqua Tail, so it's pretty good. You're just gonna get one shot. Easy, dude. Easy. And then Azumarill, I will change to Shrub. Oh, that, that Azumarill looks a little different. Uh, rock type Azumarill. Interesting. Well, we just almost one-shot it. Arm thrust. We can stop. That's two's enough. That's gonna kill. It crit. It Tommy. God damn it. Okay. Uh, well, I'll send in Cumulus still. Hey, we're almost, uh, shell gone. Yeah, I'll switch to Nimbus, actually. Yeah, okay, that's a regular shell gone. I'll Dragon Pulse. Oh, no, I should have Ice. That's okay. Uh, we still killed it, but, but I didn't get the stab on there. Alright, Slurpuff is... Fairy type, right? What type is Slurpuff, chat? Mm. 
It's just fairy. All right, I'll just send in Cumulus then. It's just a catch-all. Okay. Uh, and then we'll Octotail. That should kill, most likely. Nice, let's go. And the crit didn't matter. I'll take it. I'll find my way out. Good luck, Mandy, finding your way out. Good luck. Godspeed. Okay, um... Then let's heal up with a revive for Shrub. Just so Shrub can get some XP. And just in case we need Shrub in the future. Cool. This is a cool spot, though. Tidal Cliff Cave. Yeah. Yo, Blastoise is a cloud. How the hell are you supposed to know what type anything is? Because it's flying water. <laughs> hey, a mining kit. Nice. And a hard scale. All right, all right, we're getting this, we're getting this. But yeah, this is a really cool uh, Pokemon fan game that uh, we've played a couple times before. Um, but uh, I like continuing to play it because it is something, it's something really fun to return to. Helix Fossil. Praise it, chat. Praise it. Can't fish here, but I do enjoy being able to reflect on my life. Get it? Because the reflection in the water? Whatever. Anyways, want me to teach Aqua Tail to one of your Pokemon? No. <laughs> please don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> please, please don't tell anybody about this. It's all right. I won't. I promise not to. Okay. We'll go around here. So it looks like the right was a full uh, branching path, which I actually really like. Um, Shoal Salt, cool. I really like the branching path going there first because... Um, I don't know if you guys do this in, like, RPGs or anything, but I always like to go to the wrong path first and then go to the right path to make sure I get everything. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I can't go that way because I don't have a, uh, I have strength. I love the look of this game. This is a, uh, I like the look of it too. It, it looks great to me. We made the emotes, exclamation credit. Okay, calcium, cool. And a damp rock. Okay, so we're just getting a bunch of uh, items here in Tidal Cliff. Is there an exit to this? There might not be. This might be just a side, side gig. Seems like that. Oh, we got flamethrower. That's pretty big. Um, it looks like this is just another, uh, like, a side dungeon. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, go to sleep, Ernie. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so this is, like, a side place. Hmm. Um, chat. I will allow some backseating here. Where, sh where do I need to go here? Merchant's Ridge, maybe? You haven't been to Dune Drift Bay? I thought I did. Uh, I might be wrong, then. Oh, I was blocked by not having Surf with Dune Drift, I think. Well, okay, right, well, I'll, uh, I'll go down to Dune Drift. I think I know what you're talking about. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have this. This is just like a shortcut. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. So we'll go down this way.
Yeah, that's where we need to go. I see it. That's okay. So this is the boat. Probably the boat house. Yo, you could probably take me. Huh, what? A person here? How did you stumble upon my home? Oh, ho, ho, you're that kid that's been in the news reports. Oh, yeah, I watch and listen to the news. I know what's going on. Now, it's not much to be quite honest, uh, so it's easy to stay up to date. Speaking of the news, did you hear about what happened in Palkin Heights? I was literally there. Goodness, you've got a lot going on. Uh, you need a ride to the island in the north? It gets pretty chilly up there, but nothing I can't handle. The wires between here and Diamond Peak Town are really rough. Too much for a new person to surf. My boat neutralizes that issue, and I can get you there in a flash. I'll go get the boat ready. Join me when you're ready. All right. Uh, this seems like a Dragon Ball reference, especially with a Torkoal in the background. Um, and I'm saving just because... Um, uh, let me do something real quick. Yeah, all right, chat. I'm going to implement the soft cap again for today because it is uh, 2 p.m. So let me do that real quick. So the average will now be... ...23 seconds per sub. Can't believe we've gotten this low already. All right, soft cap has been implemented. All right, we've lowered it slightly. Let's continue. Hello. Are you ready to zip over to uh, Diamond Peak? Yes. Oh, uh -ho, ho, off we go. You fix the issue with group subs average? Uh, yes, the issue has been fixed since yesterday. We're all good. So currently, uh, the maximum roll you can get is 42 seconds. The minimum roll is four seconds. Okay. Land ho! I can stick around for a bit if you need to ride back. Good luck, kiddo. All right, so this is Diamond Peak Ridge. Whoa. Frost Ridge Tunnel. Right, let's check this out. This is cool. Hey, Swin up. Shit. Damn it. Alright, this is fine. I can't. I can't leave. Uh so we'll be good. Nice. There we go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy Pokemon Infinity, because I, I certainly do. Max Potion. Um, okay, so there's a little thing down there. There's more over here. Alright, it seems like this is the way to go. Could be mistaken. I want to keep doing these repels because honestly, as much as I love <gasps> ice puzzles, I love ice puzzles. Ice puzzles are so much fun. Been waiting for a while for you to play it again. Yeah, we, we finished um, uh, below zero and we're doing a Mori at nights. So we have like a big slot now for insurgents. Sorry, uh, infinity. Uh, just to Just to make, you know, just to put in. And once we're done with this, uh, I have a bunch of other fun ideas to do. Is that story finished? It's all on, if you're curious on what's finished and what's not. Actually, that's not accurate. I can't say that. Death story is finished. Yeah. Oh, does that have sturdy? Yeah. That's going to be big. Stone Edge is going to do a lot of damage there. 
was the roll in yes or no yes time wise? I think it was like eight hours. It was a thousand subs. So. <laughs> nice. All right, we got leftovers as well. Uh, Heliolisk? What type is Heliolisk? Also nice. It's level 69. Electric normal. And I'll, uh... I'll put in chicken here. Or side C. Um, and I'll just psychic. And no surf. Why the fuck does a helio list no surf? Why does it no surf? What? I, I do not comprehend. My understanding does not exist. This charge is fine. I know, it was a weather-boosted surf against a uh, super effective uh, with fire. Dry skin healed by the rain. All right, um, I'll freeze right here. That's fine, because we're normal ice. I am not happy about this so far. Every voice is fine. It's not actually fine. I lied. Holy shit. Um, Shrub, maybe? Is Altaria Dragon Ice? Ah, but in this game, it is not. Discharge is a kill. No? Okay. Thank God. Okay. Thank God we still went. Jesus. Catch this OP lizard. It's a trainer. We're facing a trainer. I can't catch it. Hey, all right, we got lock on. I, I don't want lock on. Just catch, simply catch the trainer. Gotcha, gotcha, I'll do that. Good idea. Um, I think we go first before Gastrodon. I don't think Gastrodon's that fast. It is. It fucking missed, thank God. All right, we're gonna get a full heal from that. Or close, let's go. Kill the trainer, grab the lizard. I'm down for hearing more of these ideas, I like it. All right, um, so dual chop. No, I think we're good. Um, Perugly, we should swap in the cumulus, yeah. All right, then we'll just Aqua Tail here and, and wipe you out. Nice. Easy. One shot. Nice job. Thank you. Appreciate that. I would also like to heal. Please. One revive. I have... I will revive Nimbus. I think Nimbus is more important than Chicken right now. Um... I also have a max ride, but I don't want to use that yet. Those are rare. And do I have a paralyzed heal? I do. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's continue on. <laughs> hey, we got hail. I'll take it. The Koi Pond. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Not a bad roll. Don't tell me I literally healed right as I... Oh, my God. All right. Diamond Peak Town. 
This is pretty. <gasps> a friendly snow person here to greet you. Oh! And we got wild charge. Okay, cool. So cute. Okay. What does the sign say? Diamond Peak Town. Uh, no. I don't need to repel for this. Cool. All right. I need to know where the... There it is. Okay. I was like, where's the Pokemon Center? That's the first thing, you know? That's the first thing we need to get. Uh, we restored your tired Pokemon full health. Yes. Nice. I like to jump down snowy slopes. You gotta be careful with ice, though. Wouldn't want to slip up the side of a cliff. Um, the harsh weather conditions up here can make training a real challenge. This is so cool. I love the cottage feel. Look at this. <coughs> be careful during blizzards. More aggressive Pokemon will show up outside of town. Be careful jumping down the snow hill. Wouldn't want to run into someone. Oh no. This is really cool. I like this. Uh, so let's take a look at all of the uh, houses in this town. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a suitcase before he moved away. Uh, I just can't seem to open it. I really want to know what's inside. Uh, okay, good luck. Rare to see a trainer come up all this way. If you beat Irene, come back and let me know. I can teach your Pokemon a powerful move. All right, chat, can you guys remember that? Remember that she teaches me move after we beat Irene. The range is more adequate for cooking food. Uh, the sink is clean, a perfect place to put dirty dishes. Freezer seems to just connect it to a tube that leads outside. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, that's really, that's, that's good humor right there. Hello, you must be Grill. Professor Thorne gave me a call. Let me know I should be expecting company. My name is Irene, a member of the Ego Council, and by the sounds of it, the last one you need to face to complete the Ego Challenge. That's the last Ego Council leader. It must have been a long time since I've had a challenger. Not a lot of people have had the ambition to come all the way up here from the mainland. I prefer to hold my battles outside of town. If you head west from here, you can find me waiting in front of Kronos Temple. All right, we will. Uh, I'm assuming this is your house. Wow, you have a nice house. Uh, almost as cold as it is outside. You don't know how to cook on this thing. <laughs> a sink or a huge cereal bowl. Chat, it's so funny that it, it has separate dialogue for every sink, st uh, stove, and fridge in every house. I love it. Book about the evolution of methods of the elusive Kidfoot. Quick skim of the text reveals that Kidfoot is theorized to evolve via evolutionary stones. Would you like to rest? I can rest. This is a well-made fan game. It is. It very much is. One of the reasons I like it. One of the reasons we're playing it. Little Rupert, thanks for the five good subs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail in this game, which I feel like lacks in a lot of fan games, but it's great. Um, which is why this is like so above and beyond. Did you come from the mainland? I hope you were prepared for the cold. Okay. Yo, how's it going? It said that a Pokemon's growth is determined by what it battles. For example, your defense will go up after facing off against a Pokemon with high defense, like Onyx. Drew, EVs. There's a price tag on this refrigerator unit still. There seems to have been a huge charge for delivery. The prime spot for good cooking. And the sink is empty. You wouldn't want any leftover water to accidentally freeze. A barrel of something. Oh, God. Are you still sorry, Eric? I am sorry, yes. Full restore. And a rare candy. Let's go. All right. Uh, is there anything over here that I could find? No. Maybe? No. I tried. I tried. I thought. 
Okay, cool. Let's go up. Um, and that's really the entirety of Diamond Peak. It's not that big. Diamond Peak does not seem like a big town, a big, a big unit. Let's see. Cool. All right. Oh, ah, you're a trainer. Goddamn. Gotta keep moving to stay warm. Yo, fine. Thanks for the 2,000 bits. Okay, so you're Pidgeot, which means I can just discharge you and you'll be fine. Or I'll be fine, at least. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take it. Let it end? Chat? I don't know if I want to let it end. You know? I don't know if I'm on board with that. You know, we still have to get that 69,420 subscribers. Still is the goal. The Spring Deer, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Libertinian, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Very kind of you. Uh, Zen Headbutt, maybe. Ooh, Jump Kid still... Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. Luna Wick, thanks for the five gifted subs. Appreciate that a lot. Thanks, guys. Uh, Dust Noir, we're fine here. Yo, oh, Lanky Lunatic, thanks for the five. Thank you. Scam? Two minutes for five subs is pretty good, chat. I, I, the scam meme is, the scam meme is funny only when it's accurate. If you just say scam for every single thing, it's legitimately not funny. <laughs> That's when it just becomes annoying. Oh, I mean the 18 seconds for the five. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Ba -ba -da. Okay, here we go. Will you ever do a subathon again after this? No. This is the only subathon. Chat, I want to make this very clear, and I've said this, I think, every single day for the past 10 days. There's no other subathon. This is the only one. Melberry, thanks for the five. It, when it's over, it's over. Like, it's it's over. I'm not doing another. This is a lot. <laughs> this is this is a goddamn lot, you know, to, to do. And it's a lot of fun. And it makes it less special if I do another. If I do one other, I I, I want to make I, like, if I do another subathon, um, like I'm not gonna, you know, like it, it makes this one just seem less cool and less special and less fun. This is a one-time thing, you know. So yeah, uh, that's that. Oh, let me let me do this. Let me do this. Right. So let me have like, um, uh, let me let me uh, uh, have this little thing so I can uh, uh, put this on the clips channel. Um, all right. And if if one of the mods wants the clips, it's too. Right. All right. There's not going to be another subathon. Like this is the only subathon that I'm going to be doing. At least with this random subathon timer or with you know sleeping or you know it's there's not gonna be another subathon like once this one ends it's done because if i do another one with the exact same things with the exact same it makes it seem sp like less special and i want this one to be special like you were here for this you know like you were here during an insane time during the channel and not only that it's like if i do another one it, would, it wouldn't be for, like, another, like, five years. 
uh, when we've like all forgotten about this one or like I have a different really really cool idea of what I can do you know that's what this is so just in case just to answer that question you know in case anyone has that uh Zolfire, thanks for the 50 gifted subs now that was a scam <laughs> now that one was a really big scam roll all right, so that's that's where you can say scale. Like that was that was pretty bad. All right, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream enough to uh, get scammed uh, live on stream in front of 5,000 people. Uh, <laughs> oh, crazy! I hope I hope you have the the most expensive three minutes of your life. Uh, but I appreciate the 50 subs. Uh, thank you. Um, let's. Yeah, so if one of the mods could send me that uh, uh, clip in DMs, that'd be sick nasty, dude. Um, oh, and then, uh, right, there was one other thing that I wanted to mention, too. Um, in that it's what I'm doing with all the subathon money, right? So I have currently, as it, as it stands, 60,100 subscribers, which is a lot of money. Like, that's a lot. Um... And I want to make it clear that um, I'm not going to, like, I, I, I want to be very transparent with you guys on what I'm doing. Because that is a lot. And it's very public and all this, right? Um, and I'm going to put it all towards content. Uh, I'm not going to pocket it. But I want to make it very clear that there's nothing wrong with pocketing it. Like, if, if there's a streamer that's like, hey, I'm going to make some money. Hell yeah. Go for it. But, um... That being said, that's not exactly what I'm going to do. Um, just because um, I have a lot from YouTube already, from Twitch streaming before. And I just want to make big things and do really awesome things with content. Um, the money's directly going to go towards... Um, it's, I'm already paying the mods for the subathon. Um, I'll probably pay Abby more um, for managing stuff. Uh, Sucrose has now brought on the Clips channel, so doing that. Um, but I'm also going to hire new people, full-time people. Uh, to work for me and not only that but then also there's some ideas that we've had uh, later that are gonna cost like six figures to make these video uh, like to make these videos and so all the money from the subathon will go towards those things right those video ideas that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise those uh, full-time people that will be able to give you guys more content and more fun high quality stuff like if you like that SAT video that recently came out on the YouTube channel like, that's the stuff I'm talking about. The uh, chemistry stream that we did, where we blew up a car and broke a world record. That was $40,000 for the video. And I wouldn't be able to do that without you guys. So all of the money for the subathon is going towards directly content. So if you sub right now, if, if you use your Prime, if you do whatever, that goes right back into the channel. Hope that answers that question. And then mods, if you want to clip that too and then send it to me that would be poggers and we'll put both of those on the clips channel just so it's like in one spot and that is real that is that is real um that's not like oh good guy crow there's nothing once again nothing wrong with pocketing money right if i want to take the six plus figures that i'm making from this and and just put it in my pocket and be like yeah that was like we made some good content we did some good things that is totally okay that is totally fine um, that's not what I'm doing with it, but I just want to make that very clear. If there's somebody else doing that, hell yeah. Get that bag, you know? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing with this. So, we'll have those two, uh, and I'll put it on the Clips channel, so then if anybody else is asking, we can just, like, link them that, and they'll be like that. And, uh, another thing, too, um, I will be doing, uh, finances, um, once the Sabathon is over, I guess, um... I'll be, the next stream I have, I'll be like, all right, here's how much I made. Here's uh, what we did with it, all that stuff. I'll be very transparent with that. Um, but I, I, you know, what, 60, this is what, $350,000? No, $300,000. Um, this, this is $300,000? I don't get that much right i am I, I i am not receiving this much money twitch takes a big cut of it i want to make that very clear 
Um, if I was a Twitch affiliate or a regular Twitch partner, I would get half. Um, because of the Twitch leak, um, you can tell who has the 70-30 uh, split, so I do get 70-30. Um, but just want to make that very accurate, okay? Like very, 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 you know, clear that I do not get all of that. So you can't just take sub count multiplied by five, but you can take sub count multiplied by 0.7 times five or 3.5. Also bits. Yeah, I'll go over all of it, you know, once we have it, but yeah, in case you guys are curious. Uh, we might do like a breakdown someday. Maybe, maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we could break it down tomorrow. Two hundred K pre tax, more like one hundred fifty K post. Yeah. Plus, I have to pay Abby like a little extra, you know, because she's been helping out a fuck ton. Uh, probably pay Sucrose a little extra because she's doing overtime stuff. Um, probably I have to pay my mods. I'm paying them hourly to moderate for me for all of this time. I gotta do that too. That's another expense. So, all in all, I'm not getting a lot, but it is. Like, a lot compared to the um, full amount of, like, 300,000 currently, as it is. Um, but it's not... It's nothing to, like, sniff at or scoff at or whatever. Iceros! What is this thing? It's like a rhinoceros, but it's a nice surus. Your hair be floofy? It is a little floofy today. It happens. We do more IRL content in the future, like Tricycle and Legos. You guys have seemed to really, really like the other content. Like, the content of, like, um, just me doing whatever the hell I want on stream and kind of, and you know, trying to make it as entertaining as possible. Um, yeah, like, we will be doing more of that. I mean, definitely on the subathon, but we'll also be doing more of that. Like, after the subathon, too. Because, fuck it, why not, you know? Um, it's already... I, I'll, I'll spoil this a little bit. That, that was already planned. <laughs> to do more stuff like this. This was planned. Like, to do more. Um, it's just so amazing that you guys like it. That it's like, oh, we'll, like, speed that. Like, we'll get you... Like, we'll speed it up. We'll, we'll like... We'll get a more for you guys, you know? Uh, I'm just glad that people now think of me as my own person. I'll be real, the bar's really low. <laughs> the bar's really low there, but uh, I'm glad that, that that's happened, you know? And uh, yeah, where's the tricycle right now? I think it's in the kitchen. There we go. Worked goddamn hard to, to make that a thing. Uh, and, and in my opinion, too hard. Will you mod the tricycle? Yeah, we're going to give the tricycle spinning rip. Dude, I wonder what the world of tricycle modding is like. Legitimately.
Good, sorry, good, uh, good soundtrack in the back, too. <laughs> uh, I had to do some DMs there. Sorry, DMs, important DMs to make, you know, some stream isn't the only like content source that I have. So it's like, I gotta still keep the YouTube stuff, you know, still going. I'm only typing as fast as I can. Okay, you should buy a unicycle. I kid you not, and I wish I was joking on this, but uh, in my, oh, there's an auto right there. In my, um. like personal notes of ideas that I have. Sometimes I don't flesh them out a lot. And I just kind of put words there because I'm in a hurry. Uh, one of them literally says fan, like a uh, unicycle fanny pack. And I have no idea what that means. So. All right, I want to kill this odd now. So I, I've been now taking the extra time out to genuinely, you know, elongate my ideas when I write them down so they're more, you know, in depth. So I know exactly what they're talking about. Nice. Good kill with the Otano. 4,000 XP. Nice. Uh, Nimbus is trying to learn Blizzard. I don't think I do. We got Dragon Pulse, Freeze Dry, Ice Beam, Roost. I don't really use Roost, but... Chat, what do you think? I don't think so, right? Yeah. So there's stuff over here. I want to go up, I think, still. Oh, I can't anymore. I lied. Okay. Uh, we have gone down a place that we cannot go back up. Hey, what's up, skier? Hey, whoa, don't step on my skis. I miss skiing. Skiing's a lot of fun, dude. Uh, I am a skier personally. Uh, I don't snowboard. Um, but I do find uh, skiing... Like, just one of the most fun sports. I wish I could more. Team Ski, dude. Uh, Weavile. Yeah, Weavile's still ice type. It's like dark ice, so we'll stay in. I think chicken's gonna become um, phenomenal in this area because it, a lot of it's like ice. It's also, uh, forgot that we're psychic type. Uh, we flinched. Okay. Um, Weavile's really fast. That's not going to kill, right? Shrub's pretty useless here. All right, that's fine. Anyways, um, chat, one of the uh, only times I've been recognized. I've been recognized a couple times in real life um and if you do recognize me hey you know um don't be don't feel afraid to say hi um obviously boundaries respect and time but uh, don't feel afraid to say hi i've been recognized a couple times but one of them was uh i was skiing uh, in mammoth mountain and um i was 
uh, getting uh, just finished a uh, a slope and uh, was meeting with my parents and everything. And uh, right as I was like walking over or like, you know, pulling over or whatever, you know, um, uh, uh, I see, I hear someone say, uh, Point Crow, uh, Point Crow. <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, cause keep in mind, like, oh, yo, this guy. Yeah, keep in mind, like, mind, like, I'm with mask, with glasses, with helmet, right? <laughs> and somehow they noticed me, and I was like, hey, yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, I'm one of Irene's grandchildren. She taught me a lot of the years. Would you like me to teach a special move to one of your Pokemon? Oh, wait, shit, 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 shit. What, what moves can you teach? Um, another time I met, oh, Frenzy Plant, Flasper, and Hydro Cannon. Yo, you can learn Hydro Cannon. Chat, should we learn, uh, Hydro Cannon, right? It's a, it's a stab Hydro, uh, Hyper Beam. Should we, um, learn this? Ever notice the crossover between rowers and skiers? Uh, both leg sports. Over Typhoon. Typhoon's like regular flying move. Fly is like. I think we don't. I think we. St I think we don't. I think we give up on learning it. Yeah. It's Jambalaya. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Nice roll there. Chat's pretty mixed. Oh, about like whether to end it or keep it. I mean, I really like the subathon. <laughs> I'm team keep the subathon going. You know. Um, okay, I want to get into bed to rest here. <laughs> hey, mom, I just want to watch one more stream. One more stream. <laughs> uh, let's sleep for six hours. Can we pull keep or end? Nah, we're just gonna keep. We're just all team keep here. There. Yeah, well, I like I like I really like the music in Diamond Peak here. There we go. I just wanted to make it daytime again. There it is. Is that Daisy Portobello? What a name. What a name. Um, and we'll just go this way. Oh, huge ice puzzle here. Oh my god, I love ice puzzles. Bro. Dude, me and ice puzzles go hand in hand, I'm telling you. Right now. Okay, we're on the edge here. It's not great. I want, it, I want it to end because the subathon has consumed all my attention and time. <laughs> hey, same. <laughs> same, but uh, I want it to stay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you're where we're supposed to go. Okay. Um. Do we go up here first or we go to the left first? I think we go to the left first. But hot pot, I know. I know. There's certain things I do miss, like, you know, talking to some of my friends, you know, going out with people. Um uh, but like that's inherent with, you know, anything. Hey, there's another auto no for HP. Are you trying to beat Ludwig's record? No. That's not the intention. The intention is just to have fun, you know. Um 
But uh, I'm just having a bunch of fun with this, you know? That's the main thing. Is like, I'm just having fun. What is Ludwig? Hey, you and me both. Yo, what's up, Pendra? Thanks for the 26 uh, months. Welcome back. Yeah, I just wanted to do a subathon. Because I promised it. I was like, hey, let's do a subathon. Uh, and I just wanted to make it as entertaining and as cool as possible. So, um, the only competitiveness is how high, the only competitive, if I, competitive, blah, blah, blah. the only competitiveness I want from it is how high we can get, uh, the sub count. Not, uh, not, uh, who we specifically beat. Oh, this is, oh. Oh, I didn't know there was this left. Okay, never mind. I'd take chat to Ikea. You know what? I would also take chat, chat to Ikea. Whatever that means. Yeah. Uh, the amount of subs I'd like to get is 69,420 subs. I would consider that the final boss of Twitch. And then if you wanted to 100% the game, it would be 100k. Like, if I get 69,420 subs, I'll get a tattoo of Pico Doodle. Anonymous, thanks for the five gifted subs. Damn. Do your thanks for the uh, five gifted as well. Thank you. Um, thanks, Consideration, Fighting Gem, Iron Ball, Love Tate, Boost Speed. Um, high price, high price. Yeah. Um, Anyways, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, yeah, 69,420 subs. I'll get a tattoo of Pico Doodle. Um, and uh, I think it was something else, but yeah. Um, that's like the. I, I, I'd consider that the final boss of Twitch. And then if we get past that and the subathon's continuing, we'll figure out something uh, for if we get 100K, in which I'd be open to ideas, you know? That's going to be my... Yeah, that'd be my first tattoo. I've never had a tattoo before. Uh, where are you at, at the moment? 60,115. Um, yeah, at 100,000, I'll add Keck W, but I want to... If you have ideas, I'd be down to think... You know, I'd be down to brainstorm it. All right, um, we'll stay with all this. I think we're good. Hannah, uh, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, what do you have as an item? You have a dragon fang, leftovers, rose incense, charcoal. Yeah, it's fine. Get a billboard saying guys sub to point crow. I don't know how fast billboards can do it, but if, 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 I mean, we could, literally could. Huh? The oh oh the egg. What it? This is this is the black market egg. It's it's a regular bag on. Um. Really? We spent like thirty thousand dollars for a regular bag on. Okay, it has a special attack, a speed, a HP. Okay, is bag on a special attack, a special attacker, or is it a physical attacker? It's a, it's a physical attacker. And it also has the... Yeah. You don't want to know? Ah, oh, fuck it.
Skylar, thanks for the five gifted subs. Uh, Vinterni, thanks for the five gifted subs. Blue Fox with the five gifted subs. Thank you guys for all this. Thank you. All right, so I think I just got scam chat. I'll be real with you. I think I just got scammed. Almost got the legendary on the five. Damn. The highest legendary we've gotten is 50 minutes on a uh, on a 10. We've never gotten anything more than that for the legendary. That was by, uh, I forgot the first person who did it, but Allurian also did it too. I still think about the 500 you nearly got. Yeah, I almost got 500 minutes with a legendary. That was, that was crazy. Um, okay. Uh, I want to go back to the black market guy and see, I I'm going to buy another egg. You get used to scams after a while, Crow. Are you speaking from experience from the subathon? Uh, move. All right, how much money do I have actually? Now that I think about it. Uh, we have a decent chunk. Okay, so we have $107,000. All right, let's go talk to the black market guy again. Hey, Crow, 100K, you show us your mom and go to three, 30 different fast foods. What if I told you uh, my mom was already on stream for yes or no yes? And what if I also told you that um, uh, we did a fast food charcuterie board the other day? Okay. Oh, it has to be at night. Shit. Well, I guess if it has to be at night, we got to fill the time with something. All right, triple tryout. Here we go. Okay. So our Curium, our Spirit Tomb for sure. I still like the Cloister. We got a Greymon, um, which we'll take as well. And then Slacking is pretty good. Okay. Here we go. All right, starting player. I will go first um, with a strong start of Kyrium. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Weird choice there. I'll be real with you, Re weird choice. Yeah, very weird choice. I just won this, okay. Hey, we got the Rhyperior card, which is pretty good. Is this game like Final Fantasy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um, Cloister, Spirit Tomb, Curium. And then it was slacking. That's my team. I'm going first again. This is always a solid pick in the bottom right corner because uh, it's really hard to like take over, you know? Weird. Um, very, very weird. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Sure. Yeah, because you can just take over your own card, I guess. I'll take that win. Yo, that was pretty big. Okay, I'll take it. I want an Avalug. Actually, no, I don't. I don't think I want it. I got the hair across. Okay. All right. All right, fine, 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 fine. We'll stop, we'll stop. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Um, It's only at night. Okay, next nighttime chat, you guys are going to remind me. All right, rem remind me of that. Actually, we can just make it nighttime real quick. Will you be willing to check out the slot machines? Yeah, I'll do that in a second. Okay. Please gamble more. It was cool. Chat, you're watching. You're watching uh, the stream right now. Come on. What do you think this is? <laughs> 
Uh, did you see Catherine tweeted about uh, being an editor? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, she's uh, an editor that used to work for Markiplier and um, Ethan Crank Gameplays, I think. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll reach out. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we are looking for editors. Um, and I can't, like, promise a full-time position. Um, but... We are looking for something like that. Like, I'd probably, you know... Alright, I'll... Sorry, rephrase. We are looking for a full-time position. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Alright, so it's night time. Um, which is, uh, partially thanks to you guys, uh, with the subathon. So, some of this, some of that money will probably get, be going towards that position. <laughs> if you want a super bad editor with no personal time, I gotcha. Hey, keep selling yourself. That's <laughs> You're doing a great job so far. <laughs> All right, where's the, wait, is the egg scam guy not here? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, why? Wait, what? Is the scam egg guy gone? Oh, maybe because he scammed me and bolted? Oh, he only appears on certain nights. Oh, really? Okay, chat, did I actually get scammed by the egg? For those who know about what he gives, right? Did I actually get scammed? <laughs> like, genuinely. Or is there like a, is, does he sell like a really good egg? As one apply for the position. Um, I'm just like kinda we haven't like opened like applications right now. It was just kinda like on Twitter, I was like, hey, vouch for an editor, you know. And we'll we'll see who's there. And what style they've done in the past. You get you can give an ego exclusive Pokemon? Okay. Alright, so you guys told me to check out the slot machines. Was going for the Psyducks chat. We got it. Close your eyes and you'll get it. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll close my eyes and I'll get it. Okay. Watch this. One, two, three. <laughs> Holy shit. Watch this. One, two, three. Close. Tough ship.
I feel like you guys on the subathon. <laughs> Is this how you guys feel? Can we gamble too? Yeah, drop a prime. Feel Eric? That's funny, Squid. All right, we got this. We got this. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Sweet. Sweet legendary. Oh, goddamn. Sweet release. Goddamn beautiful. First try. What can I buy again from this? Um, Pokemon Lottery Corner. Yeah. Lottery number. Um, it does not, right? Damn. <laughs> Shit. I never get a match. Okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to build them. Chat, do you think I get a Porygon? I feel like if we get a Porygon, like the Porygon's a di Chat, can you confirm that this Porygon is a different, it, like, is it, is it different in Pokemon Infinity? It is different? Okay. Alright, so the best way to win is like... No, I wanna- I wanna bet... Yeah, wagering 300 coins, triple triad. I think this is the best way to do it. Okay, so Greymon's pretty good here. Um, Cloyster for the right. Spirit Tomb for cover. Kyriam, and then Slacking for the left. Okay. Let's get a unique one from the base. Okay. Why not Beldum? Is Beldum different too? So I'm going first. Okay. I will put strong this. Yeah, the way you're going to get me is from the right here. Nice. Good win. Good win. Good win. Got the dust clops. So we're, we're, we won 300 coins for winning. Okay. So let's do it again. Chat, are we down with getting... Um, uh, are we are we down with getting either with, with, with the, the Porygon? Like, are we down with that? Yeah, okay. So I'll go first again. Dude, seriously?
He's going, he's going to go on top. Okay, I somehow won that. Okay. I got the Psy Steed card. All right, so this is 300 coins each time. Psy Steed's okay. Um, let's... Let's do the same thing. Uh, Cloister, Spirit Tomb, Curium, Slacking. Yeah. Hey, you're going first. Rayquaza? Oh, we gotta get that card, chat. Chat, we, we need to get that card. I lost. Oh, I can't believe I won. Give, give me that Rayquaza. Give me that Rayquaza. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Rayquaza. Add that in. Um, Curium for sure. Slacking's pretty good for the right. Cloister's good for the or for the left for the right. And then, who are we uh, not having? Greymon here? Honestly, Greymon we add in. It says Spirit Tomb. That's really good. Don't lose it like you lost that other legendary. Yeah, okay, I know. This is a good starter. All right, so this is so we have we have uh, like a couple thousand more coins now, and we'll keep it up because every time we win one of these, we get three hundred coins, which is huge. That's exactly what we want. Slacking cloister. I wish you could like, like just be like, hey, I'm I'm setting up like this is this is what I. Like I wish you could just be like like this is what I have now like this is what I'm setting up and like just have like a deck ready and you just play it the same deck you know rather than having to choose every time. Um. All right. I will do this. It's not important that we win that one. It is definitely important we win this one though for the seven. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Okay. Can't win this. We'll do that. Okay. Okay, took the Greymon card. All right, took the Greymon card. That's okay. Okay, taking the Greymon card is okay. That's totally fine. We didn't... Uh, that's the probably the best card they could have taken. Uh, because we have some alternatives to Greymon. Like, uh, Spirit Tomb. Like, just Spirit Tomb, basically. Okay. I'll go first. I'll drop the Rayquaza in the bottom right. Um, I think the best strat is like this for the seven on down. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I'll keep like this. And oh, look at this double overtake. And you, you get fucking like actually fucking ruined. Let's go. All right. We got that. We got it back. We got it back. All right. Let's do another. Rayquaza, Oyster, Kyriam, Slacking, and then we have the Spirit Tomb. Okay, awesome. Interesting Salamance play there. I'll just take it. Once again, I'll take that. A really good position for us.
Yeah, and we won. Jigdi, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. We got the Manaphy card, which is uh, literally perfect. All right. Thank you so much for the five. That was a good roll, too. All right, so the Manaphy card is, like, actually perfect. An Armaldo? Not bad. I might like that more than, like... Like, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the... Um, the Kyriam, obviously, in the, in the uh, Rayquaza. But I think I like that more than uh, um, the slacking. All right, give me, give me like, there's the Evitel. There it is. There it is. Chat, there it is. I only have eight bottom cards. That's actually really bad. Oh, you're playing strong here. I think we still win this. You know what? Maybe it's time to stop with uh maybe it's time maybe we maybe we just like you know cut our losses. Zare Bear, thanks for the five. Uh and we buy you know, some Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Haha. <laughs> you know, logic. Okay, cool. The ID doesn't match. It was just by, you know, let's do something else. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Should we, uh, does Beldum have a different form? Oh, fuck. Fine. 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 Fine, chat. Fine. It is not? Okay. So we do need the Porygon. Okay, we got this. We got this, chat. You need an item to make it do so. What item do I need? I'll take it. I'll take it. Do you want it spoiled? Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's a spoil. Oh, then no. Okay. All right. Uh, let's, let's just continue. All right. Let's, let's, let's I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop gambling chat. I gotta stop. It's not good content. All right. We gotta, we gotta leave. 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 Okay. We gotta leave. Jesus. Buy the egg. Oh, fine. Fine. We'll also buy the egg. Oh, not rest. I wanna. I wanna sleep. Whoopsies. One, two, four hours. <laughs> Got really low there. <laughs> Got really low there. <laughs> that is nerve wracking, dude. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's um go back down now. Now that we've now that we've made a new day. You're so absorbed in the gameplay. I know. I know. Let's go over here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Abel Jaws, thanks for the two. I'm the egg maniac. 
Would you like to buy an egg? Yes. I got the most expensive egg. Is that, is that like the, the egg we want? I have no idea. All right, I mean, let's we can we can keep going though. Okay. Yeah, there's only one way to find out, and and that's um, let's uh let's do that. Zaldrin, thanks for the five gifted subs. Zald, sorry, Zald Ryan. Thank you for that. All right, I need to go over here and then make the wreck. Oh, actually, I want to make it um, daytime. It's the wrong egg. What does the right egg look like? It's like pink or green. Is it gonna be the same egg? It might be. It's gonna be the same egg. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and then I wanna make it daytime, right? Okay, and then we will face the gym leader. Third time in case. Nah, that's probably fine. Alright, uh, sleep. Uh, six hours. Okay. Let this end, the man needs sleep. I sleep every day. What do you mean? You think I've been awake for 21 hours straight? Sorry, 21 days straight? What I- I'm totally fine. I'm mentally okay. I'm doing amazing. Dude, I'm doing better than I would have otherwise. <laughs> there we go. Oh, cool, a bombista there. You sure, Crow? Wait, what do you mean by? Uh, am I sure? I, 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 I'm the one who has slept. Yes, I am sure. I'm also a grown man who can take care of himself. <laughs> if I was bad in any way, if I was not doing all right, then I would not be uh, streaming. Like, don't backseat my health. I know you care, but uh, I don't know you. <laughs> and uh, I'm also an adult who can take care of myself. Thank you. No matter how many memes we make about it. Like, genuinely don't be weird about that. <laughs> um... Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I Yeah.
Yeah, there's like some people in the like the the YouTube clip channel comments being like, yeah, you know, like how I mean, how would you feel if you were in front of a camera 24 hours a day? And me personally, who has I'm like I'm fine. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, no, like he needs to stop. Like this is unhealthy. And I'm like, I, I conversely, I, honestly, it's I'm still alive. I'm still being healthy. <laughs> I'm all good. All right, sick. Here we go. Are you guys ready to face the last Ego Council member? This is the, this is the leg. This is this is the Ego Council member. This is it? This is the last one. I don't know if I saved. You're here. I was beginning to wonder if you had turned back. There's Alga. But no, we both know that isn't your role here. I've heard a bit about you, Grill. Wormwood is an old friend of mine. He actually served on the Ego Council for a while back in the day. He's filled me in on your mysterious appearance in the mainland. However, you got here, and whatever the reason, I believe it was meant to happen. Billions of years of existence have fallen into place in order for this exact moment to take place. I'm sure by now that you have heard about the near catastrophe that we had about a hundred years ago. Uh, one second, Abby's calling me. Abby says hi. Uh, the near catastrophe we had about 100 years ago. They say Giratina showed up in the Dunestone Desert with intent to destroy everything. Palkia and Dialga showed up to put a stop to it and apparently save the day. I find it hard to believe that it's that simple. The people of Diamond Peak hold Dialga in high regard. The people of Ekorok practically worship Palkia. The people that are said to have summoned Giratina all perished in that event 100 years ago. We'll never have the full truth of how it all went down. It's just a story lost in time. Though, that is the same fate for all of us, isn't it? Uh, G Frisk, thanks for the 10 gifted subs! And what a roll those 10 gifted were! Good roll and what a save! Thanks, G Frisk. Suppose you didn't come here to listen to me drove on. Thorne told me I should be expecting a guest that wanted to see Kronos Temple. The only way for guests to see the inside of the temple is to move the boulders out of the way. One can only move the boulders if they have earned the badge that I hold, and you unlock strength. Grill, I believe it is time for you to earn that badge. Here we go. Ego Elder Irene would like to battle. All right, we're going to, I think we're going to just flamethrower as much as we can. Um, this is going to be super effective. It's four times effective. Yeah, easy kill. Easy first kill. All right, hail's fine here. Snow Squatch? <laughs> Snow Squatch? Uh, sure, yeah. Snow Squatch, it is. That's gonna be, that's super effective. Okay, that's, that's Monka. That's fine. Okay, that's good, that's good. Mm. I don't know if Chicken's gonna survive this. Uh, Ambrose Fitz, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Also an insane good, insanely good roll. Hey. Don't be uh don't be afraid to uh at the person who uh who who got the good roll and give them a little Drake and a good roll. Yeah, a little thanks. Um, okay. We don't go first here. Unless we tie? Nah, it's faster. Okay. Um and, oh, it has Moxie. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll send a Nimbus here. I know Nimbus is a weird choice, but we're just gonna Dragon Pulse it. I thought we would go faster. Oh, but it's uh, full restore, that's fine. 
Please do at least half. That's good. And we're also ice type, so we don't take damage from hail. Perfect. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's what we like to see. Okay. Uh, Grass Squatch is next. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, Grass Squatch. So we had uh, Snow Squatch and Grass Squatch. Uh, I'll just use an Ice Beam here. That should kill. Unless... Okay. Grasquatch is a fantastic Pokemon. We do not win this here. So I'm going to spend my time... Um, yeah, monkeys seem to be fast here. Seem to be very fast. Um, I don't... I do have a max revive. I don't have any other revives here. Um... I'll Ice Beam up for a speed tie. Yeah, is, what, is there like a Sea Squatch nest? Like, or Fire Squatch? Like, what's... I'm curious to see what's what's up with this. Uh, your Grass, I'm Water, but I also have um, Flying, right? So, um, I'll Typhoon here. It's fast. Wow, okay. Nice. Briagonal. Um, chicken would be perfect for this. We'll take it, I guess. That's not great. Is it pure ice type chat? With immense special bulk. Nice. We still one-shot it, though. Okay, nice. Because uh, we also have Drizzle. We all have the leftovers. Jolly Bird. Wait, Jolly Bird? Is that like a... <laughs> like it's a Deli Bird evolution. It's like Santa Claus. Oh, my God. Yeah, get out your Pico trees, chat. Oh, Dazzling Gleam's not going to be good for us. Yo, Elna, thanks for the raid. Party of 650. Welcome. Welcome in. Uh, hope you're having a fantastic stream. Um, hi, I'm Point Crow. Um, I'm doing uh, Pokemon Infinity right now, but I'm doing a subathon. I've been live for 21 days straight. That is my bed. I sleep on stream. I eat on stream. I exist uh, on stream. And I have been for the past 21 days. Um, this is my timer. Whenever it reaches zero, it I stop stream. Uh, if you use your prime, uh, then or, or gift or whatever, right? If one prime, one sub, uh, increases my timer by a random amount. Um, zero. Sorry, it goes from four to 42 seconds, I believe, currently. Yes. Um, so, anyways, like that. Oh, ooh, not a. Not a good roll there. <laughs> Yikes. Regardless, that's what I'm doing. I hope, Helena, you were having a fantastic stream. Uh, thank you for uh, the raid. I uh, hope you're enjoying. Uh, go follow Helena if you haven't, and then follow me if you want to. We're playing Pokemon Fendi, a fan game, and we are up against the last gym leader. Okay. Um, I'll Aqua Tail one more time here. It's not going to kill, but then I'm going to heal next turn. Never mind, it killed. I lied. Okay. What's your next Pokemon? Sorcerice? Is that a Jinx evolution? <laughs> that just looks like Princess Peach, I won't lie. <laughs> oh, freeze dry, that's one. That's one KO. Yeah. That's that's quad pack though. Um well we got Pebble out here, I think. That was not gonna do much, I don't think. Um, with a rock slide. Yeah, no shot. Um, oh, we have Sturdy, I forgot about that. 
I actually did a lot more than I thought. Um. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I will use my max revive because I have two of them. I will use the max revive on chicken. All right, Pebble's gonna die. That's fine. And then chicken here. I will send out a flamethrower. That's fine. Don't kill. Please don't kill. Don't. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Okay. And then that should kill. Nice. Let's go. Grill defeated Ego Elder Irene. You are an exceptional trainer. Well fought. $12,000. Nice. And Pebbles evolving. Oh. Oh, whatever that is. That looks so sick. Oh, that is... Yeah, a drag oil. That is really sick. A drag oil. Wants to learn rock polish? Uh... No. Not so, not a surprise at all. I could sense that. Uh, not a surprise at all. I could sense the determination in you. Wormwood and Thorn both see something in you. I think they are right. And here is the last badge to complete your collection. The Vitality Badge. The very last badge we need. So we now uh, have strength as well. Of course, here's TM 102. It will allow you to move those heavy boulders. Awesome. It was an honor to have battled you, Grill. Do you feel that? Hmm, a bit colder than I remember. Oh, so they Oh, they're gonna they're gonna summon Dialga. That's okay. We won't be here for long. You know your objectives. Let's move. Interesting. Are those people just teleport out of thin air? Grill. Earlier I said that you were here for a reason. I believe whoever those people are, their fates intertwined with yours. I've healed your party. Should go contra those trespassers. Thanks for the heal. <laughs> I love the cry the, the, the Pokemon cry. Sci Steed mates. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then is there something over here? There is. Earth. We're teaching earthquake. That's that's like you you get the move earthquake. You 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 teach it to someone. That's huge. That's actually huge. Pebble learns earthquake. Uh, instead of crush claw. Yeah. That's actually huge. Um, and then Earthquake. I want to also put that on Shrub here. If I can. Uh, instead of Growth. Actually big. Jai, I think we're in the end game. I think we're literally in the end game here. All right, Chrono's Temple. Oh, another puzzle. Here we go. All right, you guys ready to get frustrated with me while I uh, struggle to complete this puzzle? Unless I speed run it. Watch me speed run it. Literally, watch this. Watch this, chat.
Speed run, let's go. Speed run, let's go. Puzzle solved. Nice. Get you a streamer who can do puzzles. Awesome. All right, we need to do our, our repels. I forgot about that. Um... Oh, no, there's an item over here. Mm, a revive. Actually amazing. Okay, that's exactly what we need. Uh, right, and then we have to do this puzzle. I'm assuming a bunch of mini ice puzzles. Full restore. Okay, side shock. Think of your own stock of more revives. I don't need to where I'm going because I'm too good. Has he slept at all? No, I've been awake for 21 days straight. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the snarky reply. Just a question I get often. Ah, oh, shit, I went the wrong way. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 how do I... Oh. Ah, come on! Damn it! Alright, it's fine. What's up, Gargon? I'll just flamethrower you. Should kill. Never mind, I forgot your rock type. Nine more days and it would have been a month. Nine more days and we're, we've made it a month. That's crazy. Garg on these nuts. Oh, I do need to get on there. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this. We gotta go over this. Imagine streaming a uh, 12th of the year without a break. Yeah, I'm built different. He's built different. Oh. Jason Khan, thanks for the five gifts of subs. Thank you. It's also just a lot of fun. Wait, did I not do this correctly? Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. Feels like a surge of energy washed through the area. A roar was heard from the floor below. That's Dialga. Oh, God. Hey, you won't be able to stop us. You're going to go no further. Team Fate, Grunt, and Team Fate, Grunt want to battle. All right, this is not gonna be pretty. I'll be real with you. All right. Not the best idea to go with Drizzle. Sorry, I, I totally realized that after I did it. Uh, Magneton, you have that, and then I'll Aqua Tail you as well. Because I think you have 30? Blue Fox, thanks for the six gifted subs. Thank you. Very kind of you, appreciate it. All right, you got Swamper. Okay, you do that and then I'll discharge Swamper. I didn't know it hit myself. And it doesn't affect me because it's ground type, shit. I forgot! I forgot, chat! Yeah, Earthquake's gonna kill Chicken there. Alright. 1v1. 
Uh, we already have you in. I'll send in Shrub. Shrub knows Earthquake. Uh, Atlas is my name. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Okay, so I'm going to... Razor Leaf, yeah. And then and then for you, I'm going to Typhoon. Septile. Damn it. That's okay. Razor Leaf should still do a lot on Swampert, though. Yeah. Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf, Razor Leaf. So your Magneton has Moss on it? Yeah, it's fine. I'll Horn Leech you, and then I will Typhoon you still. Not good. Look here, it's Jay. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Kill? Oh. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That really does hurt. Wait, was that the Shofu song? Yeah, it was. Yeah, you're like the only person that's ever gotten that reference, ever. Okay, um, let me Horn Leech you, and then I will also still Typhoon you. Number three for Twitch subs? Yeah. Yeah, we are number three for Twitch subs on Twitch currently. Uh, not only that, we are at number 21 of all time for most Twitch subs ever. And we get to get number 20. Uh, number 20 would mean that we get 69,420 subscribers. Slow bro. Okay, so that's actually perfect. We'll horn leech you, and then I'll just aqua tail you. As long as slow bro is not faster for some reason. That's gonna kill shrub. Oh, that was close though. Please do. Oh, okay. Shrub, you are living literally on borrowed time. Okay. Yikes. All right. Horn Leech, you. I'm still going to Aqua Tail you, and then that should be fine. Because then we get the Horn Leech kill slow, bro. Shrub goes up. Nice. 72. Hey, 60. Let's go. Uh, regardless, yeah. Uh, Bod Groovon, thanks for the five gifted subs. Regardless, um, I think um, it'd be really cool to get to 69,420 subscribers. Insane Cast, thanks for the five gifted subs. Pebble wants to learn Hyper Voice. What does that do again? Uh, yo, that's not bad. Chat, do we learn Hyper Voice? What do, what do we get rid of? If uh, Do we get rid of Hyper Voice? Do we get... Rid of, no, Rock Slide's pretty good. Sword Dance is also pretty good. Hyper Voice is cringe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Um, nice. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, Unreal. All right. Um, I'm actually going to go down this way. Yeah. Chat, I don't know if I don't know if the subline's gonna continue until next week. Chat, if you guys can make it till Tuesday, we're gonna do another uh um um yes or no yes on Tuesday. Uh tomorrow we're gonna go outside, touch grass, literally. That's the stream. Uh tentatively one PM Pacific time. Um, uh, we will literally go outside, stream it, and touch grass. Um, also, uh, CJ's gonna be coming over. Uh, CJ, yeah? Oh, I can't. Can I not heal here? Okay. CJ, yeah, um, is going to be coming over and doing a Breath of the Wild speedrun of two players, one controller. Uh, that's happening tomorrow. Uh, and we'll have a lot more uh, fun stuff planned, too.
Will you literally be touching grass, though? Yes, we will literally be going outside. What's outside? It's this new game. It's a crazy new game. I don't know if you've heard of it. Pretty cool, though. I like it. Did you pl uh, plan this far ahead in the subathon? No. We did not plan this far ahead in the subathon. That's why um, the past, like... Um, day or two have been like just video gaming and not like IRL content because I mean to be completely honest like we didn't think it would last this long <laughs> which is pretty awesome you guys have already gone like above and beyond like what we thought you guys were going to do which wasn't a lot like I mean like not I mean not to put it like that I mean like we thought it would like we thought you guys were going <sighs> fuck like we thought you guys were gonna like just, just like it was gonna be like last like a, a a week, you know? We thought it was gonna last like one week, and that's it. God damn it. Uh, and then and then Abby uh, Abby was like, no, they're not gonna last one week. They're gonna last ten days. And then you guys lasted, you guys outlasted ten days. I forgot what the solution was to this. Solution is like something over here, wasn't it? Oh, chat. Here it is. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Did the mods bet money on how long it lasts? I don't think. No, I don't think they did. Uh, but yeah, that's what that's what was happening, you know. We are broke. We did not. Well, I mean, I am paying you for the subathon, so you're not that broke, because I also know how much I'm paying you for the subathon. <laughs> but do I have that money yet? True, we have not paid you yet. That's true. Oh my god, look, it's a sorcerer ice. Chat, you can't say like it, it. It's not Fire Emblem, all right. It's it's Pokemon. Ah, oh, I need to go this way. Oopsies. Oh, um, wait. I need to also do a repel. Nice. Love the new emote. Dude, Picro Bounce is a great one. Absolutely phenomenal. Top tier emote. I'd say the upper echelon of all emotes. Okay, right, here we go. Elixir. Amori after this. We're probably going to make uh, dinner after this. And then uh, um, there's another thing that uh, Abby um, got me from the store that will open. Um, and then uh, we will... Uh, Suzu's, thanks for the five gifted. Um, and then we will... Play some Amori, yeah. Oh, you're too late again. Like I told you before, kid, you're up against forces you don't understand. I've already captured Dialga and Palkia, which completely neutralizes Thorn's plants. That's right. 
I'm on a mission to stop Professor Thorne from capturing the power of the space-time deities. Bookpuff, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Well, you're, you're here to stop Professor Thorne from capturing the power of the space-time deities. What? She's, but she's not going to capture them. What do you mean? With two out of three now in my control, it seems I may have already won. I know I said I didn't want to waste time battling you last time, but I just can't pass up the opportunity to test them out in battle. Maybe this will put an end to your ambitions. What? Okay, you, okay, it's a double battle. Oh, God. Oh, we're over oh, against Palkia and Dialga. All right, no, this is great. This is fantastic. Okay. Absolutely phenomenal music, by the way, too. Okay. Um, I'll just... I'll try to... Um, oh, I should have used Psychic there. That's... Oh, God. You know Hydro Pump. Why? That's not that at all. It's water. Why did I put water in this water? Oh, <laughs> sorry. What? The the game seemed to have have crashed. What the fuck was that? I'll ignore what happened right there. You know, don't don't worry, don't worry. All right, here we go. I like the uh, riff Team Galactic, you know? I'll Psychic you and Discharge. That's fine. Chicken's gonna die anyways. That did not do a lot of damage on Palkia. Nice. That's super fun. Ice beam. No, 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 wait, wait. Freeze dry. Will be super, super effective against Palkia. And then I'll do Horn Leech as well against. No. Yeah, I'll do Horn Leech against Palkia as well. Nice. Not as nice, but that's fine. Definitely not as nice. That's going to KO. Okay. But Shrub, you're going to kill the Palkia at least. And we'll send out Pebble. This does not look good. What else do you have? A Saragol? What is that? Uh, definitely Rock Slide on that. And then I'm gonna... Horn Leech. Is Dialga... What is Dialga? What type is it? It's... It's... It's Dragon something, right? What the fuck just happened there? That's so fucking weird. Alright, uh, Nimbus is going out first. Um, and then Chicken... Um... Yeah. Yeah, you can stay in too. We'll try it like this. 
Why do you have the egg? I want to hatch it. So I want a flamethrower, Dialga, and I want to freeze dry Palkia. Freeze! No, that's gonna kill Nimbus. Oh, jump kick Dialga. I meant I meant to jump kick uh, Dialga. Something about this is strangely familiar. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first time we're seeing all of this. Uh, uh, first try, guys. Let's do it. First try. Okay. Didn't, didn't change my Pokemon. Forgot to change the Pokemon from uh, Nimbus and Chicken back to here. Nice. All right, we're good now. We're good now. Maybe we're trapped in a time travel loop, you know? Maybe that's what's going on. Norboses, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Okay. Jump kick Dialga, freeze dry Palkia, please crit. Please crit. Okay. No, that's cool. I make, I crit. I meant me crit. Me crit. All right, the full restore. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Thunderbolt and shrubs, okay. Okay, Nimbus and those levitate. So that's fine. Perfect. Okay, I will s Earthquake again, and then I'll freeze dry the Cerebral, I think. Yeah, that's super effective. Oh, that's close to killing. Pin missile's fine. Oh, it actually hits. Oh, I didn't even know that. Uh, it's not effective, though. It's fine. Yo, 1,000 bearded midgets. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, I will earthquake one more time, and then I will... Freeze dry again. Nice. Nice. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thunderbutt's not going to kill unless it crits. Okay, that's fine still. What do you have next? Drag oil. Oh, yikes, dude. Um... I know it has Intimidate. I don't know. Ours has Sturdy. Um, do I heal both of them? I think I heal both of them. 
Viren, thanks for the five gifted subs. Saduk with the 1,000 bits. AJ does things. Thanks for the two gifted subs. James Anthony, thanks for the five uh, gifted subs as well. Thank you, guys. Um, no. And then I want... Well, actually, I'd like to heal Shrub. I need Shrub to get healed. And then Nimbus, you're fine. Just Ice Beam the Dragon. Yeah. That should be super effective. Nice! Yes! Oh, that's, that's so good. That's so good. Too good to be true. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Your disco stick thanks for the two gifted as well. Okay. Thunderbolt's also fine still. Okay. Oh, and then and then we just we pile on here. Oh, I should have dragon pulse. That's still the same. Okay. Hey, thanks for all to the tier ones, guys. Thanks to the tier ones. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the primes. Nice. Super effective. And Grill defeated Team Fate Boss U. Too good to be true. Thanks for the five gifted again. Thanks for the subs, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. How could you? It's not possible. There's, there's no way. You were able to dispatch two DODs at once. They must need more time to stabilize after being summoned. No matter. I've got one Pokemon left to catch. Without Dialga, there's no way or you or Thorn will be able to stop us. Your efforts will only prove futile. Goodbye, Grill. Uh, Juhuli, thanks for the five gifted subs. Alright, there's our Chrono Shard. We got two of the three shards we need uh, to send ourselves back home. How could you... <laughs> Alright, that was... <laughs> that is so lame, I love it. Alright. Let's go see what we need to do next. Um, okay, you're not you're no longer here. Let's go to shrub uh not shrub. Let's go to um um uh not wormwood, thorn. Go thorn. When we do the Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green map randomizer, it's not out. It doesn't exist. Not yet at least. Okay. Um, yo, too good to be true. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. When will it be out then? Uh, as soon as we can. Uh, I'll have a date for you, unfortunately. Okay, so we go back to Thorn. Oh, before that, um, chat, where do I get the, um, where do I get, um, the seed thing? Not seed. Um, fucking, uh, uh, miracle seed. Lows. Okay. Uh, like the that's the evolution, right? That's that's the evolutionary stone or whatever thing for shrub. No. Oh, what what's the thing for shrub then? Go see boost crash, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, do, it does it needs a leaf stone? Kira, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Not a bad roll. God damn. Miracle Seed and level up in Sea Ridge Town. Oh, okay. So then where is the Miracle Seed? 
I don't have one. Real Becky G, yo, thanks for the 20 gifted with the god tier roll. That was sick. God damn. Um. Yeah, I don't know where Miracle Seed is. I don't want to look it up because, you know, I don't want spoilers accidentally. It's in Sea Ridge. Uh, where in Sea Ridge? Oh, it's probably down there. Oh, mess remember the special tutor after Irene. Thank you. Hey, there's the Miracle Seed. Okay, awesome. All right, so we give uh, the Miracle Seed. Uh, yes. We give the Miracle Seed a shrub. And then we, uh, rare candy shrub. One, one second. Let me find the rare candy. It's in medicine, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Rob wants to learn bulldoze. Uh, no. Earthquake's better. Hey, and there it is. Shrub's evolving. Okay. Nice. Pretty cool. Your shrub evolved into a Magnezone. All right, I'll take that. That's pretty sick. Wants to learn heavy slam. Um, no, we're probably good, I think. Yeah, we're probably good. I, I like what we have so far. He's a bush now. Yeah, Torterra zone. I love it. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's, yeah, we did that. All right, let's go to the thorn. Let's go talk to thorn. See what's up. Yeah, because we got the second shard. Uh, we now have two of the three shards needed to go home. You're back. Uh, you got another shard too. I'll pop that in quick and reboot the system. While that's recalibrating, you can fill me in on how it went on the temple. There it is. Now to confirm changes on the computer end. Wonderful. The machine has successfully registered a new energy source. Uh, Chihuly, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Rebooting now. So, how'd it go at Kronos Temple? You were able to take you on, even though they had Dialga and Palkia? That's incredible. I'm sorry that Irene didn't go along to aid you. I swear I told her they were on her, their way and to be prepared. Hmm. Did you... After after you said something about you trying to capture the legendary Pokemon, I don't know if I believe that. Either way, you were able to handle things seemingly well. You've grown into quite the formidable trainer. Too good to be true. Thanks for the five gifted subs. And Blue Fox, thanks for the four gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what did you say? They think I want you to capture the deities for me? What are they talking about? As you know, I have not asked you once to try to capture those Pokemon. In fact, I encourage you to stay away from them, as they can be extremely dangerous. So I find it odd that they think they're foiling some sort of plan of mine. Uh, luckily, all that nonsense should be done and over with now. Once the system reboots, I should be able to send you back to your own time. Uh, X Cassius Fortis, thanks for the 2,000 bits. All right, let me just bring up the diagnostics and, oh, fascinating. Grill, uh, small issue. Nothing we can't fix, but we need one more energy signature. The fascinating part of this is that my readings show that you are neither from a place or a time in this reality. I thought for sure you were from 
here just a different time, but no, Grill, you are indeed from a completely different reality. Without the energy signature from Giratina, we can only traverse our immediate timeline. Though that is incredible in and of itself, it is not the full solution to returning you home. Unfortunately, you're not going to have to get that last shard after all. I know. What a surprise. As you know, though, the temple where Giratina would need to be summoned has been destroyed. So how do we... Oh, duh. We use the time-altering energy from the Chrono Shard to send you back to the last time Giratina was summoned. Oh? We're going back in time to gather the Shard from Giratina? Oh, that's sick. Don't worry, just like before, you don't have to face off with any threats. Just scoop up a charged shard after Giratina arrives. I'll update the coordinates, recalibrate the quantum displacer, and done! The machine is now ready to transport you back 100 years to before Ko's temple was destroyed. When you can enter the machine, it is going to fit you in with an exosuit. It's an invention of mine that was made just for this purpose. This will be the perfect test run. With the suit, I will have a direct link to you from the lab. That means I'll be able to communicate with you and observe your immediate surroundings. It was primarily designed to allow people to traverse time. I'm still working on some of its other features. Why did you have this prepared? I thought... This is all new to you. That's weird. So when you're ready, Grill, uh, one last task faces you. Probably the toughest yet. All we know about the destination is that Giratina was there, and all that's left is the ruins today. If it seems like even for a moment that you are in danger, I will warp you back to the lab immediately. You have my word. So go ahead and take a break if you need to. When you're ready, step into the machine. One last hurdle grill, and then we can send you home. All right, we gotta get one last. Uh, yeah, all right, we gotta get one last shard. You can see in the uh, machine right here, there's the two. Uh, let's go back in time. Initializing time placement protocol. Hey, we're back to Dunestone Oasis. That that suit looks oddly familiar to the Team Fate suits. Grill, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Anyways, I'm communicating you with you uh, through your new suit. Hope it fits okay. It should protect... No, it will protect you from cosmic radiation and space-time distortion. It will also keep track of your vitals and any disturbances in your immediate environment. I'll update you once the suit is done, uploading your initial impact data. Tread carefully, Grill. Giratina may be summoned at any moment. Interesting. Hey, got a max revive. Cool. Oh, who the fuck is... Who, who's that? Dude, look at the drip, though. Oh, we look so sick. We look pretty sick. Are you from your VOD's channel? Hell yeah. VOD frogs. I messed up the... <laughs> yeah, now I've literally messed up the timeline. By taking an item away from uh, uh, the past. Um, okay, let me uh, do the classic. Yeah, let me uh, do a rappel here as well. Grill, it looks like the initial scans identified a flex in the space-time of your location that occurred shortly before you arrived. Now, I'd be willing to bet that you has already arrived using Dialga's time-manipulating powers. Steer clear of danger, Grill. Just retrieve the stone. Okay, so stay away from you. And really just try to get to Dialga as, as soon as you can. Be careful going ahead, Grill. Scans are picking up some potential hostiles in your area. Some of them may be equipped with technology that is jamming my signal. As you get closer to the temple, the signal gets weaker. Just be careful. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, look at this temple. Oh, hello. Did you come with those other people? They seem a bit hostile, but you don't seem to give off that same vibe. Would you like some of the purified oasis water? Sure. Okay, you're healed. Okay. I have a bad feeling about today. Oh, stop. <laughs> no. The group of us that are here all came from different parts of Ego. 
Legend says that this is a potential resting place for Giratina, and we would just want to know it's appreciated. I just want to check around. It's the Waffle region? It is the Waffle region. Hey, we are Rock Jam. Cool. The coats make them look like hollowed potatoes. Yeah, they do. And that's pretty cool. Right. So here it says one distort. It says distort one pair. Reality. reality all all like distort reality all one cool. we're having an annual ceremony devoted to Giratina we never get to see the Pokemon but we feel that it deserves some recognition uh, from us mortals most people only seem to care about Palkia and Dialga hey and there it is So they seem really nice. There's, there's no hostiles in the area, really. A bunch of strange people zapped out of the sky and rushed into the temple. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, that's the hostiles. Okay. One distorts all reality. Oh, that's it. All right, here's the Giratina. All right, watch the speed run, chat. Watch this. I'm literally so good at this. Sub one minute. Done. Let's go, dude. What? Oh, is this done? Puzzle solved. Easy. All right, now let's go. I'm down the ladder. Yep. And let's save. Okay, this one's vastly more complicated than the last one. A uh, relic band. Cool. Oh, oh, they're battling Pokemon here. Oh, they're are. Oh, wow. They're they're like all over this this temple. A relic vase. Cool. Yeah. Wait. They're they're really going all over this. Are you a trainer? You're, you, oh, come on. Yeah, Gargon. Yeah, 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 yeah. You looting this place is definitely messing up space time. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right. Shit. God damn it, dude. I can't, you can't run from these fights either. Like from the man, like from the, uh, like these fights, you just can't. I wish you could, but you can't. There we go. Okay. Dude, I, I, I think we can finish this today. I don't know how much we have left, but it looks like we might be able to finish this today. I use Flare Blitz accidentally. That's not effective. Before more story. That's true. It, it, the possibility of it having more story is uh, significant. But, um, I think, uh, um, I think we got it. 
Okay. Um, I will... S I'll open with... Shrub. Because I think Shrug is... No, if you have Dialga and Palkia... Then Chicken's still going to be better to level up. So we're going to do this. The story's wild. So far it is. Once we get all three deities, there's no stopping our plan. And the sprite art in this game is just phenomenal. I'm telling you, dude. All right, regular Magnet Zone, perfect matchup here. We got Flamethrower. Close. Magnet Rise. Uh, that's okay. Sure. Yeah, you can use Magnet Rise. That's like a, a levitation and a move. Nice. Um, Wardern. Yes, I will change to Nimbus. Yeah, like literally wasted her. Why not? Can I ask why your fire goods named Chicken? I wanted to be named Chicken. Nice. Oh, we're one shotting here too. Uh, Grottle. Yeah, yeah, I'll change in Grottle for chicken. Fire type against, uh, 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 grass type. Yeah, these guys are from, like, some sort of diamond pearl. They have a lot of diamond pearl Pokemon. They have a lot of diamond pearl Pokemon. And we have an alternate reality... Fire red, leaf green Pokemon. In interesting. I'm starting to. Uh, it's it's. What I want to say is that it's very cool, at least, uh, that we have like, like we're from an alternate reality, and it like shows that through the Pokemon. That's like really cool that the uh, fan game does that, you know. Nice. Okay. Um, let's heal these two Pokemon then. Uh, then you need 300, so I could just use like a regular potion on you. And then let me save here, just in case. Yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail in this, and that's what really makes like stand like makes this stand apart from the other fan games I've played. There's no way you should be here right now. Either way, I'll put an end to it. Alright, Crobat. Um chat, what Dumb Kick would be good then, right? No, never mind, it's the opposite. Uh Psychic would do better. Poison flying, okay. Yeah, I want to level up chicken in anticipation. Graveler, okay. Um, I got to leave for Graveler. Or if I'm faster? I'm faster, let's go. Yeah, thanks for the follows too, chat. If you're not following the stream already, uh, feel free to follow the stream. Galvantula, um, I will... Galvantula's bug, actually, no, we stay in. Yeah, it's bug electric. So I was like, yeah, if it's bug, then I'll, I'll, I'll keep in. I'm, I'm starting to like gain knowledge of, of Pokemon past Gen 4. Don't worry. Blaziken. Yeah. Uh, I'll send in Pebble for Blaziken. Oddly. I know it doesn't seem like amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll Earthquake here. I can't send in uh, Shrub for Earthquake. That sucks. We have Sturdy though. I can't send in Shrub for uh, Earthquake because uh, Shrub, well, yeah. Oh, I should have just used Cumulus because uh, Shrub is uh, Grass type as well. Pray for it's fine. Yeah, Cumulus is a great counter for this. Um, so we'll Octail, kill it. 
Yo, Anonymous, thanks for the 20... Sorry, the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. They can try to learn Fire Blast. Oh, Fire Blast over Flare Blitz, right, chat? Yeah. It's less accurate. Yeah, but we don't take recoil. Uh, and then Crobat, we will send in chicken. Uh, we'll psychic you to death. Nice! Chicken has a special slightly higher, I think. Hey! And Nimbus is level 69. This can't be good. Alright, I'm gonna go back and heal. Nice. Um, I'll save after I heal, chat. Give me a second. I, mean, I could do both, but, you know. Nice. Okay. Now I'll save. Oh, I'll probably save again once I'm back there. <laughs> Will you add time if we get to 69, 420 subs? Uh, no. Uh, the only time I've added during a sub, uh, added time during the subathon is, um, uh, when I made a mistake with, uh, um, time or like when the stream went down. Uh, no, I don't just add time as like, yeah. All right, here we go. So what's down here? Oh, feels like a surge of energy. Wash the cave. A roar was heard from the floor below. Climb down the ladder. Let's do it. Oh. Dear Tina, I have summoned you in hopes of persuading you to join my cause. We have an opportunity to... What the? How? How did you get here? There's no way you could have... Of course. Thorn. Must have figured out an alternative... Uh, must have figured out an alternative time traveling method. No matter. If you're here, that means you still need Giratina's power. Unfortunately for you, I do believe Giratina was just about to join me. I guess Dialga and Palkia will have to convince you. Real, I'm getting you out of here. I'm picking up an intense energy surge in your immediate area any second now. Hold on. Wait, but we don't have the shard yet. You will join me, Giratina. It is our fate. Also, why was Thorn... M male. Thank goodness you're okay. You are okay, right? I apologize profusely for even putting you in a position that close to danger. Although you were saved just in time, you didn't have a chance to retrieve a shard of Arcanium. Last I heard, the remaining Arcanium at the historical site has just a bit of glow left. Perhaps there's a piece you can take? I know there's a site excavated a few decades ago. Perhaps the staff at the museum in Haysport can be of assistance? They probably have records of any excavation that went on the Dunestone site. Honestly, I'm not sure what our next move is. But the energy signature from Giratina, we can't return you to your own reality. This may seem like kind of a loss. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Why don't you see if you can track down anything that may have been excavated from the Chaos Ruins? I'll do more digging in the science things. Yeah, Thorn's supposed to be a woman. What happened there? Why was there... I'm so... What? Alright, we'll have to find out. Like, there's only one way to find out, and that's to get this Garatina shard. Oh, the mod maker confirmed it was a bug? Oh, uh, really? Damn. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's go to Hazeport, then. I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, when you pick a guy, Thorn. So when you pick a guy, Thorn's a guy and vice versa. Okay. Um. All right. So Hayesport. Oh, museum. Hayesport museum. Yeah, so the staff here. Um, do you have any questions? Um, artifacts. Uh, the Chaos Temple. Those are in the back of the main floor. Uh, we just uh, finished the display of the new Trident Trophy. Yeah. There's the slightly glowing shard of Arcanian that we need. It's embedded in the Golden Trophy. That's We need that. Oh, God. That means... Oh, I know what this means. Oh, chat. I know what this... We gotta, we gotta win the tournament, don't we? Yeah, we gotta win that tournament to get that trophy. Or we could steal it. <laughs> true, true. Um, or <laughs> we go down and see uh, what we need to do to, to, to get it, you know? Night of the Museum 4. It's this, right? Yeah. Well, look at that. I was just talking about you, Grill. The Trident Tower Tournament is about to kick off, and you're just in time to enter. I've been bragging about you to all the guests. They expect you to put on a good show. We'll head up to the roof. I'll let you know. I'll let them know that you're on your way to enter. See you up there, Grill. All right, so we, we are definitely supposed to be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Because the shard from the Chaos Temple is the shard we need. Uh, which is the tournament lobby. Uh, we will heal. See you again. Okay. I'll save. Oh, you know what? We should probably get like a. How was the egg not hatched? I don't know. Um. It's not even close to hatching, apparently. Okay. Um. So let me. Uh, thorns PC. Let's organize. Um, and we will, oh, what's our next highest Pokemon here? 49. Yeah, our fallout boy, uh, Firo, is pretty good here. All right, nice. Okay. What happened with Giratina? Um, Giratina exploded like a nuclear bomb. And then we were, uh, teleported back out. Squid, thanks for the uh, 250 million bits. All right, here's the tournament. And that's why the temple's ruined, yeah. We're going to broadcast the tournament so people can watch it from home. This is going to be quite the event. Um, oh, do I have to... How do I start the... What are you waiting for? Go downstairs and register for the tournament. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Um... Hello. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I want... No. <laughs> I want, um... Revives. Oh, you can buy max revives, yeah. Buy, um, ten of them. Sure. Uh, I'll buy five regular revives. Um, uh, we need hyper potions. Buy... 20 of those. Cool. Giratina's dead in this fan game? Giratina is not dead. It just exploded. That we know at least. Oh, right, now I need to register. Oh, welcome to the Trident Tower uh, Tournament. Uh, the Trident Tower Tournament res Registration Counter. Uh, tournament is about to begin. Yes. 
Just a disclaimer, as soon as you confirm your entry, you will not be allowed to leave until you've won, resigned, or been disqualified. In addition, you will not be allowed to use the nurse's healing machine, and you will not be able to buy items. Uh, are you sure you're ready to compete? Yes. Uh, fantastic. I'll get you registered and on your way. This sounds like an Elite Four. I'll be real with you. Uh, entering trainer information. Upgrading tournament roster. Creating tournament bracket. And done. We have 16 traders competing. Yeah, there's, that means we have four battles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the Elite Four. Which means you'll potentially be facing off against four of them in total. And you and your opponent are actually the first match. Your opponent will be waiting in the arena when you are ready. What are the chances we run into each other again? It's the A. Looking forward to an official rematch. This is the this is the guy the the the, the guy that stole the Chaos Temple uh, sh uh, shard. We had to track down the thief. Welcome everybody to the Trident Tower Tournament. I am Monica Moonstone from Hayesport News, and I'll be the host for the event. Joining me is our sponsor for the competition, Geralt. Hello, thank you very much for being here today. The air is electrifying. That it is, Geralt. Now, let's officially begin. Our first round is between Marcus from Dunestone Awakus and uh, Grill from, well, we're not entirely sure where Grill's from, but we're sure they'll give us a great performance regardless. Competitors, please meet in the middle. Nice to get a chance to value you again, Grill. Now that the memory of my people has been intertwined with this tournament, I have to be the one who wins. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, we're really not going to do that. We're not going to let him. And begin. Here we go. All right, starting with the Magna Zone. Oh, literally amazing that we're starting with Chicken here. Uh, we're going to Flamethrower and just uh, actually just KO you. Easy. But the fact that you're level 71 is a lot. I'll be real with you. That's a lot. Um, uh, Pebble wants to learn Protect. Uh, I think that would be... Uh, I don't need Protect. Okay. Uzma. We'll stay in for Uzma, whatever that is. We're going to switch to Cumulus. That's really cool, though. Because the, the Drizzle Stone Edge is huge, though. Oh, stop. Um. All right, we'll do in Pebble. And then we'll, I think, Earthquake here. We have Sturdy, so that's fine. That's I'm nearly going to kill. Even if it's quad defective. Yeah. Oh, Uzma evolves from Muck in this game. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to use our first... I think we go first here. Like, I think I think we still outspeed it with Cumulus. I think we just swapped in and it used Rock uh, Smash. So we'll keep with this. Um, cool. Cumulus it is. And then, uh, I'll Aqua Tail you. Okay, we do go first. Perfect. Nice. So what's next? Uh, Drag Oil. Okay, for Drag Oil, we do swap into Nimbus here. Because Nimbus is Ice type. It's also, it's... Uh, I think Ice Normal is Nimbus. Uh, Intimidate's fine because we don't have attack here. We're going to Ice Beam you. So close. So close. Ah, that's a lot. Yep, 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 yep. Um, you probably have a full restore. I'll be real. That's not great. Um, so I'll send in Chicken. No, you are Rock type. I don't know why I did that. Psychic. Yep, that's why. Oh, Ice Dragon. That's fine. We're all good. This is the first battle. Okay. And Flygon's next. Um... No, we'll stay in. Uh, 
Yeah, it's Crown Dragon. That's fine. Uh, Sandstorm's fine because we also have uh, leftovers. Hyper Beam? Okay. Um, I'll take Hyper Beam because then you can't move next turn and I'll kill you. We should be fine here. I mean, I could uh, also just like use that to heal, but that's fine. I'm good with this. All right, what else? No shame, by the way, in having a really overpowered starter. Uh, Cacturn is fine. Cacturn's fine. We have Typhoon. And I can't believe we missed. Oh my god. That's huge. That's a big miss there. Um, it doesn't look like Cacturn can beat me, though. So I will use a Hyper Potion on Cumulus. Yeah, that's fine. And then I will Typhoon. Okay. Oh, Alakazam? Okay. Typhoon's still fine. It's still Stab. I'll take it. Um, you shouldn't know anything that... Yeah, and then Aqua Tail's gonna kill you. This is, this is fine so far. This is actually going pretty well. Nice. Hey, level... Oh, we're trying to learn Hurricane? Uh, do we learn Hurricane? Hundred percent accurate in rain. Oh, then instead of typhoon, yeah. All right, Shrub wants to learn burdos, bulldoze. Uh, sucks. So. Okay. Uh, and then cacturn. Okay. And there's a confused chance too. Perfect. Uh, so then I'll just hurricane here. Nice. I have failed my ancestors. Yes, you have. <laughs> what an intense battle! The first round goes to Grill! Competitors, please head to the tournament lobby to update your battle record. Can I heal, please? Please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to help trainers participate. Okay. Um, I should still max revive everybody then. I save? Oh, we could save. Yeah, sure. All right. Congratulations on your win. Now just sit back and relax until your turn comes up. Uh, thank you for waiting. Your next opponent is ready to begin. All right, here we go, guys. Second battle. Oh my God, it's the shiny guy. Let the tournament continue. Up next, we have Donnie, the self-proclaimed shiny hunter. Facing off against Grill, the trainer shrouded in mystery. All right, trainers, make your opening remarks. Looking forward to our battle, Grill. Bet you didn't expect to see me here competing in the tournament. Shiny Pokemon love to battle, too. Oh, are we going up against all shinies? Shiny Hunty Donnie would like to battle. Yeah, we're going up against all shinies. Okay, uh, this is not a good uh, um, thing. So we got a, a good matchup, so we have to go back. That is really cool, though. He's a shiny hunter, right? Um, okay, yeah, I'd probably go first, but just in case I don't, I'll still Horn Leech. Yep, that's going to kill. Or not. Uh, but Horn Leech is, okay. I mean, a Horn Leech is going to kill you after this next turn. Uh, I'm willing to bet that this guy has a team uh, full of shinies that are extremely hard to get. Um, Gorochu. Gorochu, we do need to switch out to... Um... No, we stay in with... 
Borochu's fast. It's fire type. And electric type. I want to do Cumulus and Aqua Tail, but... Shrub's definitely not good for this at all. Because it's quad, quad weak. I send him Pebble. It's not ideal. Pebble does have a. Uh, um... Oh, that's so. That's such a sick. Oh, that's such a sick shiny too. All right, I'll earthquake here. Uh, we do have uh, sturdy. Oh, we didn't even pop it. Pop it. Oh, let's go! Yo. Level 52 and you soloed! Let's go, dude! Alright, Firo's next. I'm pretty sure it's the... I'm pretty sure it's this Firo. So I'll set in uh, Chicken for Psychic. Yeah! Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Alright, so I'll Psychic here. Ah, uh, Psychic doesn't do anything, does it? Oh, I messed I I mixed it up. I mixed it up. I forgot. Um, we're gonna cumulus. This. No, I'll let chicken perish. I think. Okay. Um. It is dark fighting type. So flying is good against it, right? Flying is good against fighting? Yeah, okay. So we have the making it rain, and then we have hurricane. Leaf bleed. That's not great. The crit. Okay. Nice. Um, good so far. Steelix. I will stay in for Steelix and use Aqua Tail. Yeah, oh, it's so cool. That is so cool, dude. Oh, beautiful, man. I'm telling you, that's beautiful. Uh, you have a citrus berry. Okay. Um, I will use... Uh, I have to aqua tail. Okay. Even if we lose, we, we still regain, like, retain all of our levels. Oh, the Metagross, too. Yeah, you have, you have, you have the classic, the silver and gold Metagross. Alright, meter mash kills. Oh. Evil Dank Face, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. What a name. Our attack missed again? Oh my god. Okay. I'll send out Shrub here in Earthquake. A lot of damage. Lower your... Okay. You lower your speed. I'm going to use another Earthquake. See if that works. Yes! Great. That's fine. Um, if we die, we die uh, during this battle. That's okay with me. Nimbus is next. Um, and I will Dragon Pulse you. Not effective, because you're Steel. I forgot about that. Okay. Lepidion? Lepidion? What is this? Oh, it's a Bug-type Eevee!
Oh, he knows Tail Glow, too. That's, that's really cool. Oh, God. That's really bad, too. Um... I'm going to be able to do this. Um, unless we go first, we're dead. Yep. Hey! Hey! Alright, that's fine. Oh, we still have Pebble. Oh, I totally forgot that. Um, yeah. I'm okay with doing these fights again. Uh, just because we're under level. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, because we're just, like, really underleveled. That's, that's our issue. Is there a quick way to get levels here? We have two rare candies. We have one rare candy. I feel like Pebble's good to have. Nice. Um... Grind montage. Chat, should we grind a little bit here? Yeah, just a little. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to the main lobby. Okay, and then I'll spend the rest of my money on, like, revives and stuff. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll go back over here. Nice. There should be some odd nodes this way. Yeah, we can go this way. Thirty thirty five seconds left. Evil Dankface, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Anonymous, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Winter's Warm, thanks for the 5 gifted subs. Yo, Evil Dankface with the god tier roll. Oh, I saw that pass. Chat, I want to let you know you're getting dangerous. You're getting dangerous here. Because not only is there like... The, it, it takes 4 seconds to roll this, right? Not only that, but there's stream delay. Like anywhere between 5 to 30 seconds. You are you're playing with fire here. God damn. Thank you for the subs. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll just Dragon Pulse here. Is this like an auto note that I can just like level up on? Yeah, he knows Double Edge. Yikes. Remember when we would panic from having only an hour left? Ah, uh, yeah. Classic. I remember that. Miss those days. I know, crazy. Oh, we didn't even gain a full level. Fall Boy wants to learn Leaf Blade. Weird? Sure. Actually, no, we don't... Do we learn Leaf Blade? Not even stab. Wabaju, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. What the hell? Thank you. Yo. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't learn uh uh no. 
high critical hit ratio, probably instead of Steel Wing. Yeah, Guavaju! Thanks for the 20 gifted subs, thank you! I appreciate it a lot, you know? Thanks for that! That's just super poggers of you. Hey, for every god tier roll, there is a scam. Um, I will oddly actually heal during this fight. I know it's a little odd, but I'll, I'll do it. Do 26. Then where are the god tier rolls? I'm sorry. Did you just miss the god tier roll that happened at 30 seconds? Is there every, is there data recorded for every roll through the program? No. Crystal Birdie, thanks for the 20! Thanks for the 20, though. Evil Dankface, thanks for the 20! Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, the uh, four minutes isn't bad. Thank you! <laughs> it's not bad, you know. It's mid. Thanks for the 20. Appreciate that. Hello. d 4 up. thanks for the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> Does anyone want to get a 20 with a with a good roll? Or we 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 we're gonna stay with the uh Let's cut our losses while we're here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I gotta heal him this way. Thanks for the primes too. I appreciate that a lot, guys. Thank you. Every prime, every prime is a good prime, you know? Nebula, thanks for the five good subs. Thank you. Man, these, these are... And in case you guys are curious on the um, on the color scheme, right? So, um, Green Boy, thanks for the five people subs. In case you're curious on the color scheme, right? So, uh, the colors are a percentage of your rolls. So, for example, gray is zero to ten percent. Um, that is that's gray, right? Uh, green is ten to sixty percent. Uh, and then blue is 60 to 75. Yo, Midnight Eden, thanks for the 20. Just I was speaking about blue, right? 60 to 75%. Um, right? 60 to 75% is blue. And 75 to 100 is purple. That was a good roll. Thanks, Midnight Eden, for the 20 gifted subs. <laughs> that is better. <laughs> percent of what the roll that you can get so uh you can take it from like currently the minimum roll is four seconds the maximum is 42 um and uh um yeah so 10 percent of that the difference what about gold gold is a legendary roll so you have a one in 420 percent chance of rolling a legendary which is Plus five minutes for every sub. Uh, Pebble wants to learn Dragon Claw. Um, Christian, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Legendary is 500%, right? Well, Legendary is, is it's plus five minutes. Um, do I Dragon Pulse or Dragon Claw? Yeah, plus 300 seconds. 
It will take place with 1,000 bits. How many legendary rolls have happened? I think like two a day on average. Claws physical? Yeah, but is... Sorry, not claws. Sorry. Is is a uh, gargoyle guy physical or... or... Oh, for swords, for swords stance, you're right. For all swords stance. Thank you. That means ne uh, red is negative percent. Well, net red is just minus one. Um, which you have a nine million percent. You have a nine million, um, one in nine million chance of getting minus one on your roll. We've we've changed it. We've changed the negative roll to be insanely um, low. Yeah, it used to be shiny odds, but then I realized that that was probably too too uh, too high. Well, if someone accidentally gets it, you see, it's like I set it to nine million because if it ends at nine million, I like I'll accept I'll accept that personally. Like, I'll be like, yeah, you know what? You you deserve, like, that. that is, yes. That's that's a role that you can get, and, and you have ended. So it would be minus one um, per sub. So right now it would take, if you wanted to instantly end the subathon, you would need about 32, 33 subs, and roll that one in nine million chance. And you would... You know what? If you do that, I'll even give you VIP in chat. If you end up hitting the minus one minute, that's such a low chance. I'll even I'll I'll even VIP you. It's nine million. But let me double check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check chat. Let me check that that's the actual um odds. It is one in ten million. Sorry. Dragon of War. Thanks for the ten gifted subs. Oh, ten million now. Well, it's nine nine nine. It's it's nine 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 nine. So that's the ten million. You know. Yeah, so like I'm I like if you wanna yeah, if you see a gray, then scam all the way, right? If you see a green, it's most likely, you know, it's most likely a scam, but not not always, you know? Uh and then blue and uh uh purple are like guaranteed good rolls. Oh the auto notes aren't here. Oh, because I didn't um sleep. Whoopsies. We're leveling our Pokemon currently, uh, for the Elite Four. I want it. It's a one in 10 million chance. All right. Uh, 24 hours. Nice. Uh, and because it is a one in 10 million chance, it is like, it would be benef It'd be more beneficial to roll singles then. So you have more chances, you know? Um, let's go down this way. Squid, thanks for the 500 bits and 500 bits and 500 bits and 500 bits. I think we should be aiming to make it longer than Ludwig's subathon. You see, that's, I, I see a lot of people saying that we should, but that's, I, I'll, I'll go out and say, like, that is a useless stat because... Ludwig Subathon went for 30 days because he ended it at 30 days. It wasn't like, oh, it, 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 like the timer ran out. It did, but he's like, I'm hard capping it at 30. So there's like no reason, you know, of like, oh, can we make it longer? I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome. 
Um, but it's like, it's not like it, his could have kept going if he wanted it to. Or like, like if he didn't hard cap it. Jesus, how many bits is that? Great, Jesus. Christ. Hard cap at 69420 or I die on stream. We're not hard capping it. We're not hard capping. There's no hard cap. Will you hard cap at a year or two? If it goes on for that long, at this rate, no hard cap still. Um, I think we're dead. Yeah. Uh, use next Pokemon. Squid, you're not you're not getting it, Squid. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a one in ten million chance. Um. Okay. Let me, let me revive here. You know what subathon length is an achievement? Uh, having a, a month-long subathon is. Uh, being led to all-time sub count is, is an achievement. Yeah, you're right here. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, like, trying to, like, go against Ludwig or anything, you know? Like, as in, like, I'm not trying to, like... I didn't do this as, like, a competition uh, to, to beat him. Through uh, PvP Gaming. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate the, the subs there. 69, 420 subs. 69, 420 subs. Nice with the crit. All right, Pebble. I need you to be like level 70, please. Bits count towards the timer now. When did that happen? Since the very start. It needs to be 500 bits or a $5 donation. Um, but yeah, bits also don't increase the sub sub counter. Hello? Oh, the game actually... Oh, the game actually crashed. Not karma. All right, where are we at? Just a level 52. We're stuck in a time loop. Oh, the tournament's still going. Can I resign? Actually, no. It's better to not keep. It's better to actually do this. Oh my god, we haven't even started the first guy yet. Damn it, Jay, thanks for the five good subs. Thank you. But yeah, uh, bits don't increase the uh, sub counter, so we're not close to the uh, uh, 69, 420. But they do, uh, they do add to the uh, timer as well. I like this new gifted sub badges. I like them too, yeah. Um, all right. I will open with shrub. Imagine if you win. I mean, it's possible. We could try. Really happy I have a pink one now. Nice. It's cute. Yeah, this is fight two right here. Squid, Jesus Christ. Thanks for all the bits, Squid. Jesus. Oh my god. Seraph Neo, thanks for the five gifted subs. What a god tier roll, too. Uh, we go first, second. All 
All right, recover's fine. Yeah, I think we might be able to kill with Horn Leech. Yes. Nice. Uh, Goro choose next. I did kill Gorichu with Pebble. I remember that. Jesus Christ. So many bits. Um, okay. Yeah, Earthquake here. So, it's Brick Break. It's not even going to kill. Right, it's like 14 HP. 8 HP. Whatever. Um, and then we have Earthquake. Yeah. Okay, and Firo, right. Okay, so for Firo, I will send out Cumulus. And Cumulus is going to use Typhoon. Or, or Hurricane, same thing. That's fine. And this is going to one-shot. Wabajou, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Yo, what a roll. Oh, and we're up over an hour. Oh, my God. What a roll. Damn, thanks for the 20 subs. Thank you. Let's go. Get him that tattoo. I will get the doodle tattoo at 69,420 subs. I will. So that's just fine as long as it doesn't kill. Close. Okay. Aqua Tail one more time. Damn it, this is just great. That's Aqua Tail crit. Okay, that's fine. We'll stay with the Metagross. That's fine. Okay, so the Metagross, I'm going to send out, um, Shrub 4, I think. Jesus Christ, Squid. Yeah, and I guess, like, like if you do them, if you, like, oh my god, it's, fuck, Jesus Christ. Earthquake, I think, here. Yeah, Hammer Arms don't kill, actually. I like it. Okay. What do I how do I kill this Metagross? It's steel, right? So chicken. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, I'm telling you right now, you guys are gonna you're going for the 10 million chance. There's no way you're gonna get it. There's literally no way. It's a one in ten million. Nice, we killed. One in ten million to get minus one minute. <laughs> and if you get one in ten million minus, I'll give you VIP. That's 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 the thing, man, you know. All right, got the Steelix. I'll use flamethrower on it. Nice. And that's what they're going for. How many bits is that? Jesus, thank you. They're saying there's a chance. Yes, there's a chance. Oh, Quiver Dance? Yikes. Quiver Dance is like the worst move. I, I mean, worst as in like from my perspective. And Moonblast is going to. I think it's going to be the Moonblast. Oh. Nice, let's go. Do they have to roll it? Does it have to be on the roller? They have to roll it. Ash Nova, thanks for the five. I can't believe we just won the fight. <laughs> what a spectacular battle! I can't believe we just won the fight. Another rousing, uh, another rousing battle between two fantastic Pokemon trainers. Competitors, please head to the tournament lobby to update your battle record. All right, that's two down.
All right, um, let me do this. Squid, thank Jesus, thanks for all the, thanks for all the, the, the bits. Oh my God. Last time moves kept missing, that's true. Uh, max revive on one of you, and then I can just heal up the rest. We can maybe like make it through this. I don't know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of hard. Um, okay. I'll send in Cumulus first. It's our best starter. <laughs> I don't even know how to, like, put this. Literally, look. <laughs> you see one name here. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Silver's boy, thanks for the five gift subs. Nice roll too on that. Nice roll. Okay. Um, we can't heal, so I guess we update battle record. All right, next opponent's ready to begin. Here we go. I have to redeem myself for losing the Azure Flute at Koro's Temple. I guess the tournament is how I do that. These are all people we know. That's pretty cool. What a wild ride it's been so far. We're reaching the end. Our next set of challengers are Koba, son of the Echo Rock Ego Elder, a trainer who refused to be eclipsed by his father's legacy as he creates his own. He's going off against Grill, who we still don't know really anything about. I really thought someone would have gotten me more info about this kid. Trainers, say your piece. My father, Howlett, has been helping me train my entire life. I will be an Ego Elder someday. This battle is just the next stepping stone to reach that goal. I'll show you what true battle mastery looks like. Here we go. Uh, Nitto King to start with. Um, chat, what's good against Nitto King? What's a good, what's a good, um, type? Water? Oh, no shot, really? Let's go. Hell yeah. Uh, that's my last water move, though. Uh, Fallout Boy wants to learn Leaf Blade. Yes, Leaf Blade over Steel Wing. Okay. Charizard. Um... Is it fire? Is it's fire flying, isn't it? Well, sudden pebble. Please don't be the high level. Ah, uh, it's one. It's the new Charizard. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, that's fire dragon then. So fire dragon. Uh, I'll have to use dragon pulse on. It didn't even kill me. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's a Chinese dragon. Okay. Um, but that's okay. Uh, because we also have Nimbus that also knows dragon type moves. Like Dragon Ball's here. Well, let's use it on me first. That's not good. Um, Anonymous, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Um, okay. I'll Aqua Tail. I think, I, 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 I didn't know it was like my, not my last. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that's two down. You have four to go. This is scary, because we're already down to Pokemon. Machamp. Um, no, Machamp's fighting. We are flying. Yeah, so I'll hurricane here. <laughs> I gave up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, 10 million's a lot. <laughs> 10 million's a lot. 
Oh, uh, nice bit patch though. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, you're coming for uh, um, uh, Shane. Uh, Hydreigon. Yes, I will. S oh, I want to switch to Nimbus. Nimbus is our dragon counter. Drake's in chat for Squid, dude. Drake's in chat for the, the attempt. I'll send in Fallout Boy. Max revive Nimbus, I think. We'll max revive Nimbus here. Yeah, that's fine. Fall Boy dying is cool. Uh, yeah, totally fine. And then Nimbus is coming in for the ice. Yeah, ice beam here. Totally fine. Dark Pulse is literally not what I thought you would go for, so that's fine with me. I'll Ice Beam again. Perfect. Per actually perfect. Okay, that's good. Okay. And then Zatu is next. Zatu's Psychic type, right? What's good against, what's good against Psychic? Uh, Mandem Waddle, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Psychic Flying Iceworks. All right, Flying, I'll use Hurricane. Oh, it is Psychic Flying. Oh, I'm such an idiot. All right, I'll use Discharge here then. Hey, nice level, by the way. Yeah, I don't have any dark market grows. So this is probably the best bet anyways. Okay. Nice. Okay. Leftovers. All right. Now you're going to send out Torterra, which I will stay in and use Hurricane. Yeah. Let's go. Third battle down. Third battle down. I can't believe I can't believe we did it. <laughs> I don't plan to let this fail. You'll hold me back. Grill adds uh, another win under the belt. What a battle. Competitors, please head to the tournament lobby to update your battle record. Wow. Actually insane. I actually can't believe that. That is that is nuts. Um all right, well we have uh Seven max revives, so let's do one on Pebble and Fallout Boy. Um, and then we'll heal up our other two Pokemon here. That is crazy. Um, oh, I should use an Elixir, right? Or no, a Max Ether. I'll use a Max Ether on... Um... Yeah, I'll use a Max Ether. Okay. So, uh, chat, I should use it on... Yeah, Aqua Tail. Alright, sick. Alright, I can't heal, so I think we just save here. Yeah, okay, nice. Congratulations on your win! Chat, do you guys think we're gonna get a fourth one? Uh, it was a it was a marvel that we even got two. I'll be real with you. No, definitely not. There's a potential there. All right, third, uh, uh, fourth one. Here we go. Grill, I can't believe you're my final opponent. It's Lucy. I can't wait to see how long you've gotten since uh, how strong you've gotten since you left Tata's town. All right, uh, Lucy's uh, one of the people who found us. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the final battle of Trident Tower Tournament. For those tuning in at home, worlds. Uh, for those tuning in at home, words fail to convey the energy and determination we are all witnessing today. Our final match is uh, up between Lucy, Professor Wormwood's top research assistant. Our opponent, the mysterious grill from Farts Unknown. Trainers, make your final remarks. I had a feeling you were going to become a strong trainer. Uh, Professor Wormwood was worried about you, but I knew that uh, was misplaced. Um, looking forward to this, no matter which way it goes. There we go. Oh, this theme. Pokemon trainer Lucy would like to battle. Oh. Okay, that's a sick Pokemon, though. Tell me that's a sick Pokemon. That's, a, I think, a Hoot Hoot. Um... Uh, no, no, it's not Hoodoo. Uh, what's the evolution? Noctile. Noctowl. It's a Noctowl, um, evolution. Grimfowl. Nasty Plot's perfect. I'm okay with that. Uh, because it doesn't do speed or anything. And we can still discharge and kill. Okay. That's fine. Miss Magius. Um, is Psychic good against Miss Magius? I think it is, right? It's not. Dark Ghost? Okay. Um, if it's Dark Ghost, then I'll keep him with Cumulus and I'll Aqua Tail. That's our best shot here. That's the, like the most damaging we can do. That's not good. He knows Thunderbolt, which is quad. Okay. Oh, come on. I'll switch in Fallout. And then I will heal Cumulus. Uh, Miss Magius is uh, also, yeah. Miss Magius is faster than I think all of her Pokemon, right? Because uh, if you're faster than, how much speed do you have? Uh, you have 150, uh, you have 180. Nimbus might be good. Pebble has sturdy though. And if I dragon pulse, that might be fine. Yeah. Okay, dragon pulse. Yeah, so we have sturdy, so that shouldn't kill. Oh, it, it didn't even kill anyone, so okay, that's fine. Nice. All right, so Quez Sparse, uh, which is, um, I will send out Chicken for it. That's probably a Dunsparce evolution? Is that, I can't tell if that's flying type. <laughs> I'll still, that's pretty sick though. Earthquake Sun. I think Nimbus is gonna be good this. Um, Ice Beam. All right, nice. Bang Rush. That seems like a uh, fairy type move. I'll Ice Beam again though. Nice. Okay. I think that's three Pokemon down. Blaziken. Um, we'll switch to Cumulus for Blaziken. Oh, what a tough battle, dude. Yeah, we got Drizzle, so at least you can't do too much damage to me. Yeah, Aqua Tail. Oh, please, no! Okay. Please, please actually hit. Ooh. 
with true Blaziken. But full Corona, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, this would also work. Bug Buzz is fine. Okay. And then Blaze again. So two left. Two Pokemon left. I'll Aqua Tail. It did miss again. I know it's fighting type. I know it's fighting type. Oh, which would do better. Actually, it's 100%. You're right. You're right. I should Hurricane. It goes faster now because of speed. Brave Bird's fine. It's not going to kill. Oh, it has a Koba Berry. Yeah. The Koba Berry would do that. So all hyper potion here. We do not go. We're not faster. We're not faster. Oh, um, Dragonite. Um, I mean, I'll discharge here. Oh, that was a crit. Yikes. Okay. And Dragon Dance. Stop setting up with Dragon Dance. Stop. 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 Speed Rose. Aqua Tail. Please. I know ice is four times a week. I'm just so scared, dude. Fine, I'll switch a new. No, uh, oh, but Nimbus is also weak here too. Um, I'll heal Nimbus just in case. Dragon Claw is also fine. The timer's paused. Oh. Okay, Nimbus in. Ice Beam. That's super effective. Okay, we have a max revive for Cumulus. Speed's fine. It's not going to do much. Uh, I also have a max revive for uh, Nimbus in case. Honestly? You, you're not doing much damage to me. I'm going to hyper potion shrub and see if I can do some damage here. Even if you have Dragon Dance. Um, yeah, Horn Leech should be fine, because then I'll also gain some more. Like, we're, we're, we're tanking here. Okay, that's not, that's not actually great. That's it. Um, is Dragonite flying type? Also resists steel, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. We'll just hyper potion stall. Sure. That sounds great. <laughs> I'm okay with it. There's no shame. I have no shame in that. Nice. Let's go. Alright, next you have your Blaziken, which I will switch out to Cumulus for. Okay, and then I will Aqua Tail. Let's go. Okay. And that means we've beaten Lucy. Oh, wait, wait. Pebble wants to learn. Wait, one second. Wait, wait. Pebble wants to learn Dragon Claw instead of Dragon Pulse. 
And we defeated Pokemon Trainer Lucy. Let's go. Wow, you sure have learned a lot in your short time here. Wow. And the winner is Grill, the Pokemon Trainer Extraordinaire. Grill, please come accept your reward. Grill, you've done an incredible job today. We are going to be inducting you into the new Trident Hall of Fame so you can always remember your victory here today. Yeah! We're not done with the story, though. We're definitely not done with the story. But we are in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's a, that's a super cool thing that they did with this fan game. Is that they're like, yeah, you know. You gotta win the Hall of Fame to continue the story. So go do that. And then you do it and you're like, alright. Now I'm ready for post-game. Which is technically still the game. Awesome. Awesome job so far. Congratulations, girl. I knew you had it into you. Uh, I, congratulations, girl. I knew you had it in you to rise up to the challenge. It must be destiny that you've arrived this moment. Do you remember that artifact you helped me retrieve when you first got to Hayesport? I told you you were going to embed it in the trophy for this tournament. And here we are now with you rightfully earning that trophy. We got the Trident Trophy, which has the crystal that we need inside of it. Congratulations again, girl. Soon we'll be holding tournaments daily. I hope you decide to join again. Keep your title of champion. As for the trophy, champions will be allowed to spend a few days with it to show the family and take pictures, but it must be returned to the museum for display. That's it for the tournament. Thanks again for competing. You really did put on a great show. Feel free to stay around and mingle with the other competitors and guests. Fantastic. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's continue. I can't believe we actually ended up doing that. I can't believe we actually, like, managed to do that win. There was no shot we were going to before. Um, and yeah. While, uh, while we're headed over, uh, chat, if you have not used your Prime Gaming yet and you don't know what Prime Gaming is, it is a, uh, free way for you to subscribe, uh, to my channel. Uh, and one subscription adds to my timer. And not only that, you get access to all of the fun emotes that you can see in chat. You get a little badge by your name, uh, and you begin a sub streak. Uh, you also get ad free viewing. So, uh, we've been running, um, some ads during the subathon and, uh, one of the ways to... Um, uh, one of the ways to uh, avoid those, um, is to subscribe to the channel. So kind of cool. Uh, and it's free. Prime is free. If you already have Amazon Prime, uh, then you can use, uh, your Twitch Prime. But not only that, um, you can also, uh, yeah, no, not only that, you can, um, uh, also use, uh, oh god. Well, I totally forgot my, my, my train of thought there. Oh, you can use your university uh, email if you are in university uh, to uh, sign up for a Prime student for free and then get uh, your Amazon Prime for also free. Cool. You just healed? Yeah, but like you double check, you know. Uh, let me make it daytime again. Oh, actually, you know what? Chat, do you guys, uh, chat, do you guys like the emotes that, uh, your subscriptions have got you now? Especially, yeah, do you like the emotes? Yes. Okay, if you do like the emotes, let me give a little plug here. Um, currently, as it stands, um, uh, I do have one major emote artist, um, Abby does uh, some others, uh, as as well as you know, Sucrose every now and then. You know, it's like uh, I believe yes, currently. Uh, if you want to see a new, uh, there is. Uh yeah, I think she might have gotten a little off track. Um, but uh, uh yeah uh, uh yeah that's that's uh, my emo artist that's that's Lysol so if you wanna if you wanna check out 
you want to check out Lysol, uh, there's, there's her, um, uh, there's her, her, her stream. Um, yeah. Uh, she's making emotes, uh, right now, uh, for you guys, uh, live on her stream, so, um, check her out if you haven't. Um, she's also the artist of, uh, 90% of the emotes that you currently have, including Picro Bounce. Uh, let me sleep for, I think I want six hours. Uh, and Pico Bongo. She's apologizing for the emote. Thank you, Lysen. Um, okay. Let me go over here. Let me uh, sleep again. Six more hours. The two best emotes on Twitch. They are really the best emotes, aren't they? Chat, I'm so happy with the emotes that I have. They're so... like we, It's like one subscription to Point Crow is like a subscription. It's like a worthwhile subscription, right? For... Um, it, it's a worthwhile subscription for, for the emotes alone, I'd like to say. Um, okay, uh, so let's now head back to Professor Thorne uh, with the final shard in hand and see uh, what's going to happen. Oh, there's, there's Thorne. All right, there's Thorne. How's your search for the Chaos Shard going? You did what? Came out on top in some big tournament? That's incredible, Grill. I thought I had, uh, I thought I heard Geralt fantasizing about starting a tournament back in the day. Good to see you went through with it. How cool is it that you got to be a part of that? What an astounding coincidence that we, that the specific shard of charged arcanium we needed was also part of the trophy for that tournament. Nevertheless, you've acquired the last energy signature we need. I will go down into the lab, remove the stone from the trophy, and load it into the machine. Don't worry, I've got some leftover arcanium from Echo Rock Town that I can fashion into a replacement to put in the trophy. No one will be the wiser. By the way, the plan is to send you home. We've got a few things we must do in the lab, but once we're done, you'll be leaving Ego. I guess my point is, if you have any unfinished business you want to take care of, you may want to do that before we bid our farewells. When you're ready, as always, I'll be in the lab. All right, we save here then. This might be, this is probably the end of the game. All right. Go to the lady with the strong move. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Sorry. My bad. I use strength. I use strength. Okay. Oopsies. One second. The lady with the strong move. But yeah, this is uh, the... Looks like this is the end of uh, Pokemon... Um, uh, the end of Pokemon Infinity. In a second. Um... Yeah, uh, I, over here in Diamond Peak. Okay, cool. Let's go down. I think it's down here that you need. Yeah, it's this one. Pretty sure. Nope, it's not you. It's the other one. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a couple choices we have, and I chose the wrong one. Okay, it's this one. Yes. You're a strong changer. You give off that presence. Would you like me to teach you a uh, Draco Meteor? Oh. Do I learn it instead of Dragon Pulse? Instead of Roost? Oh, we haven't really used Roost. Over freeze dry? Oh, you gotta be mad if you think I'm gonna do it over freeze dry. Freeze dry is such a goaded move. Okay. Yeah, it's by the time you roost, you die anyways, yeah. 
Okay. Here we go. Past the point of no return. Let's do it. The machine is booted up and ready to go. It's calibrating coordinates on your calculated origin point. We've just got to wait on that fin to finish the processing. While we're waiting, there is one last task I need you to complete. You see, even though the advanced quantum particle displacer is the most powerful technological, uh, the quantum particle displacer is the most powerful technological marvel of our time, it's not perfect. It can only compute information from this reality. In order for you to uh, go home, the machine has to be able to send and, we and receive uh, information from a small pocket of your reality to return to you. The physics of every reality probably vary, which means the machine would need a way to understand how to calculate that information. This is where you come in. I figured out how to upgrade its quantum processing so that the varying laws of physics don't break it. It has to be upgraded internally at the quantum level. By quantum level, I mean smaller than the size of atoms. I'm going to shrink you. Oh, okay, so she's like, hey, I need to shrink you down uh, so you can fix my machine before we can do this. Nice. Don't worry, it's completely safe. I've already been running successful tests on inanimate objects. The scary part will be when you dematerialize and turn into digital uh, information. Yeah, so I'm going to basically turn you into a computer program for a few minutes so we can upgrade the operating system. Since you come from the reality we're trying to reach, you should be able to use your information, now digitized, as a means of upgrading its physics translation software. I'll upload the upgrade system into the suit that you'll be equipped with. We'll use the energy from Palky to shrink the space between your atoms, then use the reality distortion power of Giratina to turn you into digital information. Dialga's energy will help stabilize the process as it assists in synchronizing the energy flow. Next stop, yeah, Thanos' is ass. Um, I promise, Grill, you'll probably be fine. It should only take a few minutes. This is it, Grill. One last quick adventure in the digital space. After that, it's back off to where you belong. Like I said outside, if you got anything else you want to do before you go home, this is your last chance. When you're ready, take a step into the machine. All right, so she's going to shrink us into um, a small particle digital computer process. She's going to make us a computer program. She's going to digitize us. And then we're going to help fix the machine to send us back home. All right, here we go, guys. Initializing space bending protocol, quantifying biological molecular values, digitizing. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? This is a pre-recorded message to instruct you how to upgrade the computer internally. You have been placed in the quantum confines of the processing unit. Hackerman's chat. Uh, all you need to do is make contact with the four nodes located in the vicinity. Once you make contact with an active node, it will create a new set of neural pathways that will help you traverse. Also installed a custom copy of Porygon EXE in your suit. Each node activated will also play a part in installing and upgrading Porygon. The pathfinding AI in Porygon is a little buggy, so if Porygon gets stuck, just walk over to one of the new pathways. Every time you step on one, it will temporarily give Porygon the ability to pass through solid objects. Cool. So we're supposed to find the four nodes in this quantum area uh, so that we can um, uh, upgrade the computer. Uh, like this. Um, um, wait, chat, I'm, I'm lost. Uh, no longer lost. All right, here's one of the nodes. It needs to be triggered. This one is not active yet. Okay, so we have to activate the nodes in order. So this one is active. Node activated. And there's Porygon. Cool. Um, so Porygon needs to follow us. So Porygon follows us to here. Node activated. Nice. Oh, so Porygon's becoming more and more real. Oh. 
Okay. Node activated. Nice. Okay. And then this is the last node. Node activated. Initializing extraction protocol. Cool. What is that? Uh, Grill obtained Porygon X. Would you like to give a nickname? Yeah. Whoa! Um. Digimon. Uh, Digimon was transferred to Thorns PC. Okay, cool. Great work, Grill. The machine upgraded successfully, and it looks like Porygon joins you in your return. Luckily, the extra guest didn't cause any issues. It looked like it actually uh, evolved as it was transferring back. Well, Grill, this is the end of our path. We may not have figured out why you were brought here, but at least we figured out how to get you home. The machine has already made contact with your home reality and should be ready to go shortly. You know, what we've done here is remarkable. Groundbreaking, even. With the power that we've collected from Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, we've essentially harnessed the power to travel through infinite realities. I know you're probably focused on just making it home, but think about the possibilities. We were able to witness a part of Echo from a hundred years ago, just with Dialga's power alone. With all three forces synchronized together, we would be able to step foot into any alternate time, place, or dimension that we could fathom. The wonders and achievements we could witness, the mysteries we could solve, Grill, we have opened a door to infinite possibilities. I am ecstatic at the discoveries that may be waiting for us. Sorry, not us, uh, just me, I suppose. It's time for you to go home. You've gone through a lot to get to this point, Grill. I must say, it's been a pleasure working with you. I wish you the best upon your return home. I will go finalize the destination one last time. What the? Did you feel that? What in the world is going on? Whatever happens has knocked out the power to this part of the lab. Sorry, Grill. We need to go figure out what's going on. Uh, yeah, what's, what's happening? Okay, good news. The PC still works, so we're not completely doomed. Time to figure out what all caused the commotion. I'll wait for you, I suppose. Okay, so let's, um... Torrance PC. Chat, should we save? We should probably save, right? It has only... It's level 40. That's it, really. Well, wow! This is... This is Porygon X. Pretty good stats. Adaptability powers up moves of the same type. Wow. The so magnet rise, discharge, signal beam. 140 base speed. Yo, that's pretty good. Dude, Digimon's actually like ridiculous. Uh, let's, it, we probably won't be able to use it, but I'll, I'll put it instead of a uh, fallout boy here. All right, chat, we should save, right? All right. Whatever is out there is stopping you from going home. I just want to go home, man. What's going on? Okay, that makes... Wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Nice. Neat. Uh, I thought that capturing the deities would have put an end to Thorn's schemes. After seeing you at the Chaos Ruins, I realized she must have had a contingency plan. How else would you have shown up a hundred years in the past without Dialga? I should have known better than to think I could outsmart Thorn. I told you to stay out of this. I told you to stop working with her. I didn't want you to have to get involved, Grill. My entire mission was to stop Thorn from using you as a means to her end. Well, this looks pleasant. Grill, who do we have here? You know exactly who I am. And at this point, I'm sure the kid does too. I mean, you do seem a tad familiar, I guess. Grill, I need you to listen to me. Professor Thorne is taking advantage of your amnesia to make you help her accomplish something more nefarious than she's leading on. She's using you to gather the resources she needs to create a machine that will distort time and reality. I am from a future 
in which she succeeds by capturing the three deities. In my timeline, she siphoned the energy from Palkia Dialga and Giratina to power her machine. The reason I know she's using you is because she did the same to me when I was your age. Grill, I am you from an alternate future. <laughs> and Thorn is evil. That's why you is you. <laughs> right in front of your face, dude. I've seen what Thorn has done. Hopping through different times and realities without any regard for the collateral damage she leaves behind. I need to stop here. I'm sorry, I need to stop her. Here and now. To be fair, you paint me in a very negative light. It's not like I'm jumping through realities maliciously, purposely disrupting people's lives. I was never manipulating Grill. It just so happened that both of our end goals intertwined. Also, I absolutely do care about the ripple effects of her actions through the multiverse. I just see them as too inconsequential to affect my overall pursuit for knowledge. Otherwise, everything else sounds pretty accurate, you know? That's why I must stop you. I will protect the multiverse from you once and for all. <laughs> That's impossible. How can that be impossible when you've always told me that the possibilities are infinite? Because there is a difference between cliche inspirational quotes and hard science. The very fact that you're here is proof that I have already succeeded. Think, Grill. How did I know to collect the Arcanium Shards instead of the deities? Why did I send Grill back to 100 years ago instead of to just before they excavated the Chaos Shard? To, to taunt me because I knew what you were doing? Precisely. I knew the instant you sent your team faint grunt to sabotage the first scan. Oh, by the way, if you're going to try to take the moral high ground, you may want to stop snatching kids out of different realities to work for you. You heard right, Grill. All of those team fake runs you've had to fight, I've just been your rival, Teal. I knew, I knew, I knew that he, that's why they looked alike. That's why they looked alike. They've just been your rival, Teal, pulled from alternate timelines. Hey, I didn't snatch Teal. They agreed to join me. Wait, what does any of this have to do with stopping you? Oh, right. The reason I knew what you were up to is because we've done this back and forth a dozen times before. You weren't the first, you know, to try and stop me. I applaud your efforts. I really do. But you should know by now that they will always prove futile. You see, once you've unlocked the gateway to the, the infinite multiverse, it cannot be closed again. The first timeline in which I succeeded only... Uh, the first timeline in which I succeeded in accidentally... Uh, a lot of big words out here, okay? The first timeline in which I succeeded in accessing infinite realities was the only one needed to guarantee a flourishing multiverse. It cannot be undone. Every few realities, there will be a scenario just like this where you try to stop me, but always end up a few steps behind. I inevitably give you this same spiel, where I explain the insignificance of your efforts. Then we, of course, battle it out to determine who's right. That's how it has always gone, and that's how it always will go. So that's it, you're just going to keep interfering in different realities no matter whose life you're ruined? Right, because it doesn't matter. What, their lives don't matter? In the grand scale of infinity, no, they do not. Their lives, our lives, all lives do not truly matter. We are but dust in the eyes of giants, a drop in the endless ocean of chaos. Those people's lives matter to them. Right, you are, Grill. Something you've failed to understand, though, is just how vast infinity truly is. Pokemon Infinity. This is where Pokemon Infinity comes in. When there are an infinite number of timelines and realities, everything and anything could, that could happen already has. We're just a microscopic fraction of the universe, observing and experiencing itself. The people whose lives may be affected by our reality hopping actions are worse off in a million different realities and better off in a million others. Our actions, on a universal scale, are inconsequential, insignificant, practically non-existent. In time, you will come to understand that. I will never accept having a lack of empathy for other people's lives like you have. Yo, Lemongrass, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you. Very, very kind of you to, to, to do that.
It's not obvious to you yet, girl. I am you. From an even farther future than you are to younger Grill. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, we are Grill. Like, we are Grill, okay? And you is also us trying to stop Thorn. But Thorn is an even older Grill. But that's. That's impossible. Possibilities are infinite. How can that be? It's very simple, Grill. Who better to work with than yourself? <laughs> right, so that's why younger Grill is working with older Grill. Oh my god! <laughs> Over the last few decades, I have been showing up in alternate timelines of my past in hopes of accomplishing goals more efficiently. I adopt the alias of Professor Thorne simply because I like the way it sounds. I spend time teaching younger me things I wish I had known sooner. I've created a vast network of alternate versions of ourselves, all working together to study and explore the infinite realities we have at our disposal. Every once in a while, one of us will rebel, thinking it's the right thing to do. Talk about being your own worst enemy, am I right? Alas, I have yet to see a defector succeed. Yeah, the... the, the the um, hair is the same. Like they say, there's a first time for everything. Optimistic of you to assume that you'll be the one to prove that sentiment correct. Grill, come on, help me stop Thorn once and for all. As soon as we put an end to all this, the sooner I can get you home. Oh, we get to choose. Oh, we get to choose. Oh my god. Um, okay. Mods. Can, actually, no. Uh, mods don't do it. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Alright, chat. Type one or two in chat to vote. Um, you can't see it right now, but give me a second. Oh, you literally can't see it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um... Why, here. Oh, what? What the fuck? Why is it not working? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Alright, vote chat. Type one or two in chat to vote. Who do we battle? You or Thorn? We'll do both. Don't worry. It's just the which one's first. All right. All right. Uh, Thorn, it is. Poor choice, Grill. You see, through our main power supply and networking infrastructure were wiped out, the PC storage system was still intact. I was actually able to sync up with my multiverse storage system right after you upgraded the computer. The multiverse storage is an upgrade I made that gives me access to any Pokemon we've caught from any reality. It was connected just long enough to give me access to our secret weapon. Behold, the creator of the multiverse, Arceus. This is Arceus, the one Pokemon above all, the creator of Arceus and the cosmic deities. Oh, we're oh we're battling that thing. Oh, okay. Oh no, that's cool. Ooh, what is that? Okay, the soundtrack.
Okay. All right. Um, that is a cool design. I'm gonna, uh, just, uh, uh we're, it's raining, so I'm gonna use Aqua Tail. Comet Shower, that's fine. It's level 88, so it's like, it's super leveled compared to us. Um, we... No second. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. Um, we'll send out Nimbus and Draco Meteor. Oh, of course it crit. Of course it crit. Um, I'll send out Digimon here. Uh, we have three max revives. Okay. So, uh, I'll send out Cumulus. Cumulus can do at least some damage here. That's important. Oh, it has a type. Cosmic Shower and Cosmic Ray have types. Okay. okay so, I'll, I'll send out Cumulus again. Um, and I will Aqua Tail it again, I think. Yeah. Well, it's causing great kills. It does a lot. Oh, it flinched? I was like, I might survive that if it rolls low. All right, I'll send a Pebble here. Um... We have two max revives left. I'll use it once again on Cumulus and another one on Nimbus. Um, Pebble has um, um, Sturdy. I'll use a regular revive on the Nimbus effect. I might want to use that full on Pebble, actually. Alright. I'll send out Cumulus. Aqua Tail, uh, we'll Hurricane. We'll Hurricane. The Confusion! Yes! That's what we needed. Okay. I'm going to heal then until it gets confused. And then, and then hit again. That's fine. That's fine. We'll keep healing this. Dude, that is such a pretty Pokemon, too. Wow. Snapped out of confusion. Really? All right, um, I'll send out Chicken here. We definitely don't go first here. It's not effective. Oh my God, that's not effective. Yes, keep it up. Oh, uh, the flinch. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Fine. I 
gotta heal again. We might actually win with we might win with this strat. Who knew that chicken was actually going to become like actually amazing? Is this what you wanted? It doesn't matter now, Grill. Future you has destroyed our lab. We only have one other choice if you want to go home. Time for Archaos to reset this reality. In its place will be a new reality, devoid of any more outside interference. I hope this is the last time I have to do this. Did they just reset our reality? What? Just so you know, Grill. I always plan to send you home. That was always my mission. Through all of this. The only reason it got so seemingly out of hand back there is because... It had to. It had to be something extravagant. A big climactic send-off. A satisfying conclusion to your grand adventure. But it wasn't satisfying, was it? There's still places unexplored. Stones unturned. Such is the nature of dreams, I suppose. It's always more to dreams that we just can't seem to reach. If only we could stay asleep. No, no. We've come too far just to give up now. Finally, for us, time for us to go. Don't you get it, Grill? None of this has been real. Just a figment of our brain conjured up. A fantasy world that brings us a sense of comfort. A way for us to cope with the reality we fear waking back up to. All just an internal psychological struggle against yourself. I knew you weren't put here because of Celebi's time-warping mischief. We were always just trying to prolong the dream. But the dream is over. Our journey is done. Wake up. What? <laughs> what is this? It was all a dream? What? An EKG machine. The patient information. Yeah. Grill rushed in after being found unconscious. Currently comatose, but shows some brain activity. In case patient w wakes, please alert parents immediately. They should be on site. If not, refer to the phone numbers in the patient direct directory. If patient wakes up, they should not, uh, might not be allowed to fall back asleep. If not fully recovered, patient may be permanently comatose. There's multiple endings in this, though. There's probably multiple endings. Because cause we had some choices, right? We had the other choice. We can go back. Yeah, well, soon cards. It looks like your Nintendo DS is on top of the pile. You can hear a faint background music from the game. Uh, staff part of the building the exit you can see your parents at the end of the hallway do you want to go home yeah this explains a lot specifically the whole part where it was like hey wake up hey wake up and we're in a hospital Pokemon infinity Good thing we have another save. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go through this, right? Um, chat, do we do the same ending and then go back to bed, or do we just fight you?
Same ending, but go back to bed. And then fight you. Okay. All right, we'll get all the we'll get all the endings. Okay. Same in bed and fight you if you want. Okay. We're literally resetting timelines because we're becoming Thorn. We're literally Thorn. Oh my god, we just reset our timeline. Holy shit. Uh, hey chat, wake up. <laughs> wake up, chat. Singe Coyote, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. That's above and beyond. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, the dialogue has a uh, bunch of different meanings now. All right. Okay. Um, last two decades, all the stuff, and then we gotta go to Thorn. Okay. Sorry for not doing that, you know. Okay. This is so cool. All right, so Battle Thorn, again. That's, that's so cool, dude. What if you lose to Thorn? Oh my God, there's so many different endings. Yeah, what if we lose to Thorn? D Chat, can we even catch this thing? I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure we can't. It's her Pokemon. Right? Not yet. I wanna get I wanna go back to sleep. That was a crit, yikes. Just throw a Pokeball at it. Yeah. We don't have a Master Ball or anything. We'll throw an Ultra Ball. Yeah, no. Come on. Chat! Chat, really? Chat, you thought we could do without we could? Uh, we'll go here and then we'll, we'll put it in here. Yo, Squid, thanks for the... I think it's 30,000 bits. Sorry, 33,000 bits. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have a max revive here. Okay. Uh, and we use on chicken.
Uh, yo, what's up, Purple Cliff? Twitch chat, welcome to the brand new game show called Scam or No Scam. What I need you to do right now is to drop some P-Crow bounces in the chat, and I will explain to you how you can play this right now. This is the only game show on Twitch that you literally cannot win. Yeah, that's right, you can't win it. But... The person who does win is Point Crow. In order to play, you have to gift one sub right now. And the number above his head is going to go up by a little bit. If it's blue, you did not get scammed. If it is gray, L, you got scammed. Press F in chat for those guys, but gop your gifted sub right, right now. This is the only time this subathon that you can play scam or no scam. So do it. Right there, Jaden went ahead and got, oh, they got scammed. They got scammed. Up, 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 seven. <laughs> Did not get scammed. James Ant going for it and all oh, got scammed. 15 seconds. L. Gift another sub and try it again. Red nine seconds. L again. Bro, got scammed. It's this easy. Four seconds. Oh my god. That's four different booms for four different L's right there. What in the L? What in the <laughs> heck is that? That wasn't even a good roll. Right here, another four seconds. I'm telling you, Point Crow's changing this every single day. He's making it so only 25 seconds. There we go. Scam or no scam. Listen, if you can't gift a sub, that's fine. All you gotta do is put a P Crow bounce in chat and someone will gift it for you. Drop the sub right now i'm out of here oh my god purple cliff <laughs> you beauty thanks thanks Just for hosting kidding, i'm still here i didn't actually leave gift your subs get that number higher it is five dollars to join a game show on twitch never before have you been able to get in this cheap Right there, Roseheim with the 27 seconds. That's a not scam. That's the first non scam right now. W! Thank you. The, the, you it, 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 it. You know, we don't have time to unpack, like, all of that like we not we don't have time to pack unpack all all of everything that just but chat thank you for playing uh purple cliffs uh um uh, uh subathon uh, uh scam or no scam uh, i appreciate you, your participation in the ultimate game show that only happens once every now and then <laughs> <laughs> that was purple cliff what the heck oh <laughs> dude he had the vine sound and everything and the drum roll in the beginning i can't i can't believe it atlas thanks for the five good subs i there's so many is makoto with the five fancy gamer hd thanks for the five thanks for all the gifted subs guys jesus can we get some wickeds for purple cliff god, <laughs> god damn it Cliff, I'm facing God's God right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry, I'm missing a lot. Be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love that man. Oh, I also didn't respond to your text this morning. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> I will respond when I am not streaming right now. <laughs> oh my god. You've been a little busy to be frank? I mean, I mean, you know, it's a tad. A little busy. All right, there we go. All right, all right. So we beat God's God. Yeah, Chad, if you're not subbed to Purple Cliff already, hey, hey, the, the, the part about scam or no scam that, that, that he doesn't tell you about is that you're also legally required to sub to Purple Cliff on, on YouTube. Legally. If you don't, that's... I'm sorry, but the police are gonna... They're gonna come after you. That's not... Hey, hey. I, 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 
Legally? Yeah, literally legally. All right. Um, reset this reality and all this stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's see what happens when we go back to sleep. You fool, I've already been subbed. <gasps> Vulcanist, thanks for the five of your subs. I appreciate that a lot. I, I like how you guys are now keeping it above or like around an hour. It makes it so much less stressful <laughs> than around one minute like we've been doing for the past three days. <laughs> <laughs> Purple Cliff has now tricked me out of three subs. Hey, that means you got a sub to him, right? You know, get that fourth. It's because of Picro Bounce. True. Okay, can I save in this ending? I don't think I want to save in this ending. No, I don't think. All right, all right. Chat. So now let's see what happens when we just go go back to bed. I can't save. I can't save here. Right? So, you know, it's like down here. Do you want to see your parents? No. PC in the hallway first. An email is open. Read it. Yeah. Sinch Coyote, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Hey, Dr. Wormwood. Uh, I've had some thoughts on the patient you've been working with for the last few weeks. Uh, I've spoken with a few of my neurologist buddies, and they got my gears turning with possible solutions. Contact me at your earliest convenience. Best regard, Dr. Lucy. Lucy and Wormwood are our doctors. A newspaper. The cover seems to have stories about rising income inequality, impending doom from climate change, and the rise of authoritarianism and fascism across the globe. Yeah, let's, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go back to bed. Uh, Shaimardi, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my god, thank you. There's a note on the table. You read it, yeah. It means the world to me that you'd spend so much time here. Thank you. Does not really feel like you have to go right now. Your hand's probably clean enough. <laughs> In yeah, income. Yeah, the, the read stories about rising income equality. Uh, rising uh, income inequality, impending doom from climate change, and the risk uh, rise of authoritarianism and fascism across the globe. Yeah, chat. Let's <laughs> let's let's go back to bed. Would you like to go back to sleep? If you do, there's no guarantee you'll be able to wake back up. Are you sure you want to lay down? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna wait till the uh, credits are done. No, we're going to wait till the credits are done. Cuz cuz apparently there's a scene after the credits. This is so pretty. Chat, how'd you guys like Pokémon Infinity? At least so far. How'd you guys like it? How was it for you guys? We're going to do more endings. Yeah, I want to see what happens if we beat you. Um, whatever I want to put in the video will probably be the best ending. It was fun. Music was fire. Hell yeah. Beat why you. <laughs> Everyone's grill, actually. The first is the SAO ending. Uh, yeah, you know, minus the fact that, you know, in, in this fan game, uh, we don't fall in love with our sister. I was really weird of Sword Art Online, and then I stopped after that. 
Because I was like, okay, I feel sticky watching this. Cousin? Oh, oh, she's his cousin? Oh, sorry. That makes it better. Oh, she liked... Oh, she liked him? And he didn't like her. Thanks for playing. I hope you're happy. The end. Hey, we woke back up. It's a note. Read it. Yeah. Grill, if you're reading this, that means we have more work to do. Come back to the lab. Thorn. Wait, we don't have Pokemon. Hey, Grill, or should I greet you as Trident Champion now? Professor Wormwood wanted to uh, keep an eye out for you. He said he has something for you and wants to go to his lab. I know what it is, but I'm not one to ruin a surprise. Yeah, chat, we didn't see the first ending, okay? The, the first ending didn't exist. Shush. Uh, it's nice to see you. I was worried you had forgotten about us after becoming a Trident Champion. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I know you wouldn't have let something like that go to your head. I'm glad you stopped by, though. I'm just wrapping up the Ego Trainer orientation, where I give new and upcoming trainers the first Pokemon. So I just happened to have two Pokemon left, and the ones you didn't choose when you were first left my lab. Figured the best person to raise them would be the one that you just became a champion. That's you. Hey, we got the Bulbazar. Um... Uh, and the Charmander. Um, I know they'd be great with you. Maybe they'll end up in the next Trident Tournament. Speaking of, it sounds like the tournament was a big hit. That the cruise line from Kanto has docked in Haysboard City. The SS Anne is a world trotting cruise line. I believe it just stopped at the Sinnoh, at Sinnoh before docking here. Keep at it, Grill. You're making everyone proud. Um, there are my Pokemon. Okay. I have my Pokemon back. Found a couple of rare Pokemon that can't be found in Ego. Can't wait uh, to see how you train those. Uh, I'm sure I'll battle them in another tournament soon. You better believe I plan to earn the title of champion. Welcome to the post game. Wait. Did they just take all our Pokemon away? For post game? Yeah, maybe we go to Thorn. Perhaps a PC. I, I there's there's no PC in. Uh, is there a PC in Hades Town? I don't think there is. Is there? I don't think there is. Right. You have to go to Thorn. Okay, let's go to Thorn. Do we check this out farther? I don't want to save yet because I want to see what happens when you battle you. Can we go all the way back? Probably fine, right? Um. Nothing happens when you battle you. 
Wait, what do you mean nothing happens? Oh, it gives the same ending? Does it actually? Oh, okay. Sand attack instead of party. Just finish the game. Uh, battling you gives the same ending. Okay. Well, let's go talk to uh, Thorn then. See what's up. Yeah, I'll see what's up with Thorn over here. Now, knowing that we do know now, like uh, knowing knowing the stuff we know now, like how does that change? I'm up here to buy some select goods, but I got the time wrong. The other ending is when you uh, finish the credits when going to your parents. Oh, okay. Is that is that something? Is that ending like good? If we if we beat like. Like if we beat our like you know, yeah, and, and then we and then we go to our parents. Is that like a good ending? <laughs> His name is Gambler Eric. Yeah, it's spelled wrong though. So there's a post credit scene. Save state here? I, I can't do save states. Yeah, no post game. Um, We can watch it then. Like if you want, we can we can just watch the ending. I'll see, I'll see like, I'll find another playthrough and see it. Yeah, I'll Google it. Copy the save file. Yeah, but then I have to do the fight again. This post game is fire. All right, give me a second. All right, yeah, all right, give me a second. Hey, 69 XP. Right, needles is better than growl. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it. And dry needles, okay. Uh, I'm also starting to get hungry, so we're probably going to switch over and uh, make some foods. I'm just curious what happens when we go to uh, Thorn. Sing. Fire uh, Emblem after dinner. We'll probably do a Mori if I'm feeling up to it. I said we would do a Mori. Um, and we will see if I still feel up to it in a bit. Nice. Okay. So Thorn is this way. Sea Ridge Town. Okay. Can I get my Pokemon back? Oh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out what Pokemon I want to take with me. I don't like to be rushed, so you'll have to wait until I'm done. Okay, so we still can't get our Pokemon back. Okay. That's so funny. They're so, like, they're so into making you do this that they... Alright. Like, oh, someone's using the PC right now. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, new game minus. Alright, don't have many po- Oh, you have five. 
Um, I will switch. I'll still leech seed this, I think. Okay. Uh, and then we'll dry needles, which shouldn't be on un... Okay, that is not effective. Okay. Anything in your bag? Yeah, I've I have some stuff in my bag. Um, okay, attack him. Did he start over? No, this is still, like, in the game. I'm a little confused on where the game wants us to go from here. Um, it's totally possible that I might just end the video that I make on the, uh, like, I go back to sleep. And I'm like, ah, you know, make the joke of, like, you know, oh, this is still going on in the world? Yeah, we're going back to sleep. We'll go back into our coma. Um, okay, cool. Uh, barbed tackle instead of tackle. This is this post-game if I remember? It is post-game, yeah. But I want to see, like, what it is. I'm, I'm curious. Cactus kind of OP, it is. I still say should have swap beds on the doctors. Imagine you just go back to sleep on a different bed. Okay. All right. This is this is. Oh, okay. Um, this is where we need to go. Right, yeah, because uh, Professor Thorne's up here. Oh, whoopsies. Okay. Yep, Thorne's up here. That's okay. Can't wait to see you play Elden Ring. Eventually, I will. Eventually. Bleach Seed really uh, doing wonders over here. Okay. Oh, roll out. Yikes. I just want to see what happens. Yeah, same. That's why I'm still up to this right now. Play fan-made Zelda games? Is fan-made Zelda games? There definitely is. I don't know why I asked that. There definitely is. 100%. Uh, Torch wants to learn Nail Flick. Sure, instead of Growl. Yeah, guys, I can't believe we just reached level 12. Almost 20 hours, 20 and a half hours into the, the game. That's nuts. Cool, okay. Geo dude. Yeah, okay, you're dead. Mudsport's fine. I don't is has anyone ever used Mudsport competitively ever?
But Professor Thorne should be in here. Grill, what a bittersweet surprise. Hello. The fact that you're here means uh, I failed. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I figured out a long time ago that all of this was just in our head. Time is different here, so it's hard to say for certain just how long we've been perceiving all of this, but it feels like decades. For you, it probably feels more like it's been about 18 hours and two minutes. <laughs> That's just the game time. <laughs> just as a rough estimate. See, my journey started out just like yours. Woke up in Genesis Forest, went back to Town, got a starter Pokemon, so on and so forth. Except there was no Professor Thorn. This hilltop used to be barren. My journey took me around Ego, collecting the badges, exploring the places, doing the classic sequence of events of an ideal Pokemon adventure. I did eventually come face to face with the space-time deities, and I bested them on several occasions. I went on space adventures with Palkia. I traveled through time with Dialga. Didn't do a whole lot with Giratina. That one's a bit too unsettling to be around for me. Then on one occasion, where I did have all three of them by my side, we started on the path of breaking open the multiverse. When working with just Dialga, it's difficult to create divergent timelines because Dialga likes to keep things in order. But with the space energy of Palkia and the dark energy of Kiratina, we were able to make the first alternate timeline. I had them send me back to create a new timeline, in which I got to work with a younger version of myself. Knowing what I learned uh, from my few years of venturing around Ego, I was able to help my younger self grow and progress more efficiently. Then, working together, we did it again. We continued making branching timelines just to explore and discover all we could in this fantastical world. But one day, we hit the limit. We made one too many branch timelines. Unbeknownst to us at the time, there's a Pokemon that's higher than Arceus, one that came before it. I've named it Arceus. It can exist through all dimensions, but prefers to stay in the void around our reality. It lays eggs in that void. From those eggs come new universes, and an Arceus to go with it. When we created the branching timelines, it started to disrupt the dark space that Arceus and the other universes inhabited. So Arceus inter intervened to see what was going on, and in the battle that followed, Arceus reset our reality, realigning the timeline and setting things right. Before waking up from the reset, for a brief moment, I could hear my parents' voices. They were telling me to wake up, and they'd been there with me until I woke up. And when I finally was able to wake up, I was in Genesis Forest again. I knew what I heard, and I knew this time around that what I was experiencing in Ego wasn't real. But I went along with it anyway, because I figured if I'm going to be here, I might as well be enjoy myself. Why well, wake up when the reality I'm experiencing right now is more comforting and enjoyable than the one I call home? Oh, this is too real, man. <laughs> so I stayed here for years, repeating the same adventures, talking to the same people who always said the same things. I fought Arceus dozens of times now, and I've existed in thousands of alternate timelines. I would travel to a time before young me originally arrived and establish myself as Professor Thorne, the new ecstatic professor to the region. I continued to do that for years while still traversing time and space with your help, and one day I realized that I had to put an end to it. I had my fill of Ego. It was time to finally wake up. I thought that if I could give you the adventure we craved and ended with a big climactic battle, it would satisfy us enough to snap out of it. I'd hoped that in the transition after the reset, I would have convinced you once and for all to wake up and go back home. But here you are, yet again. Not satisfied with your own world? Not satisfied with your own world, so you refer return to the one we made up. I suppose we just move ahead with what we've always do then. Finishing exploring Ego and any other realities within reach. Since I've used Archaeos to reset reality, we shouldn't have to worry about Team Fate interfering with for quite some time. In this reality, you just became the Trident Tower Champion. No one in Ego knows about what happened with future you or the space-time deities. I also went ahead and returned the trophy to the museum with a new piece of Arcanium that looks just like the Chaos Shard. They didn't seem to notice. So, I guess you're kind of free to do whatever now? When you want, come meet me in the lab. I have some cool upgrades to show you. Cool. All right, I'm not going to save yet. I do want to see the alternate timeline where we choose our parents. Um... Um, yeah.
Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Infinity. Yes, that's right. I am the champion of Eggho. I won the tournament. It was a fun tournament. If you guys haven't, if you haven't seen the episode before this one, popular with you guys. The person learn how to play the Azure. Open it up. Read it. You um, went back to, back to oh sleep. god, why does everyone go back to sleep? Oh. Do we want to go to our we oh, I'm twist like I told thing. Alright, so what's the end credits here? There's anything else to do. Like that that can't be the end. Man. Eight colors pin that you could so thanks are beautiful. Question mark. Oh <laughs> they said question mark. Nah, don't play with me. Wait, is that not? What? Did he not? Was there not a? Is that the end? Like, I, I thought there was a, you guys said there was a, an ending after. Welcome. Everyone, everyone literally goes back to bed. So now, okay. Set. He's, he's oh, he fought you. Set. Okay. Oh, okay, so it puts us back here. Oh. You just wake up before the final battle. Oh, okay. All right. All right, cool. So what's what's over here? What are these upgrades you want to show us? Oh, there are two main upgrades I think you'll appreciate, but you'll have to step into the machine to see them. Okay. Initializing space bending protocol, quantifying biological uh, molecular values, digitizing. Okay, this is new. Welcome to the virtual briefing room. This is an upgrade number one. I've created an efficient user interface to aid you in traversing the multiverse. Wait, we can traverse the multiverse now. Wait, from now on, you can come and go as you please when it comes to reality hopping missions. This will be kind of like your headquarters to see what scenarios are available for you to take part in. At the back wall, there are nodes that you can use to access the PC or heal your team. As you're out and about in Ego, I'll be able to keep it updated with any new realities we uncover. That's where upgrade number two comes into play, the exosuit. The suit you're wearing has been upgraded. You can now wear it when you leave here, assuming you don't care if people stare at you. The upgraded suit has a pathfinding feature that will help you scale the sides of cliffs. Yeah, the rock climbing feature, cool. Insulated to protect you from extreme temperatures, any place that would normally be too hot or too cold is now accessible. Now I've got built-in thermal scanner as well, which allows you to see things that will normally be invisible. That's it, take a good look around. See if there are any missions you want to partake in or take the suit for a test drive out in Ego. The choice is yours. Oh, and I was able to recover some TMs you seem to have lost in the transition back. But not, not our Pokemon, though. What is this? Oh, yes, I almost forgot about that. Seems like shortly after you updated the computer, some sort of an egg materialized. I've been able to deduce that it was some generated from some sort of malfunction in the code. I you to take it. It's, um, that's, it's a Digimon. That, it, it, that's totally, that's totally. Yeah, that's a, yep, yeah, yeah, that's. It's probably like Greymon or something, you know? You know, that's definitely. Let's go back in. Awesome. 
Arceus generally keeps itself until, until it senses disruption in the flow of the multiverse. So if you want a chance to capture yourself, you're going to have to do a bit of reality hopping to get its attention. You only have to do a little bit of it because I know a more efficient way to summon Arceus. Uh, I'm going to put some tasks on display that you'll be able to interact with to get more direction. So we've accomplished uh, two main things. We've got two main things to accomplish if you want to pick Arceus. We'll need to jump from our dimension to another in order to start causing a disruption in the flow of reality. It won't take much. We've got two missions ready that will fill the required level of disruption. The other task is that you have to obtain and learn how to play the Azura Flutes. Don't worry, as long as you're wearing the Exosuit, it'll be able to help you play any tune you hear automatically. Last place we saw the Azure Flute was with Koba, so for the Summoning of Palkia in the Chorus Festival. If you're lucky, maybe you can convince him to give it to you if he still has it. Once you got the flute, sync out the competent flute player while wearing the Exosuit so you can learn how to play the musician. For both those, go to Ekro Town. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wow. So you, that's kind of neat because you can see, um, yeah, Master Ball, some sort of uh, crystals, Arceos, and the starters. Oh, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to do this right now. Um, may, uh, I don't know. It, it's a 50-50 chance whether or not I uh, continue the rest of the game and post-game. Um, the PC is the top left node. Oh, wait. Is that really the PC? Or top right node? Oh, node. Oh. Thorn's PC is our PC. That's why it's Thorn's. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. This game really makes you want to play more. We got to hatch the egg. Team was healed. Cool. And this is this is a uh, uh, PC. Okay, cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, let me save then, real quick. All right, and uh, that's going to conclude Pokemon Infinity. Uh, uh, if I want to play some post game, I'll figure out some post game. Uh, that's really cool. Um, chat. Um, first off, I want to say thank you to you guys for enjoying uh, the Pokemon Infinity fan game. What a neat ending really cool uh and that definitely uh uh shows a lot of um care put into the game uh huge huge uh props to the developers for that um it's pokemon infinity um if we want to play some more post game we'll play some post game um although it depends uh 